Welcome everybody to Wildflowers. We're back with another day, another hour, another wonderful time here in Fairhaven. Welcome. Hope everyone is having a fantastic Tuesday as we jump into autumn because guess what? Autumn is here. Believe it or not, autumn is here. How's it going, everyone? Welcome. It's a pleasure and honor me with you here today. Linda, Linda, thank you. Thank you for becoming a member of the channel. Absolutely. That was very, very kind of you. Thank you so much for uh, and upgrading the membership as well, too. Look at that. <laughs> How you doing? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And hello, Crystal. How you doing, Crystal? And Captain. Uh, Pixie. How you doing, Pixie? Amanda. How's it going? Kai. Hi, Ka Kai Donahue. How you doing, Kai Donahue? Never been this early before. Well, shout out to you, Kai. Hey, Q. How you doing, Q? And Tina Rice. How's it going? Deborah. Deborah. How you doing, Deborah? Game Station, Simmer Girl. How you doing, Simmer Girl? And uh, Aliza, how are everyone doing? Yeah, it's good to see you. Thank you for showing up uh, as we start this up right right away. Appreciate that. Thank you all for waiting patiently, I do have to say. I, I don't say it often, but I really should say it often. Thank you for being so patient as you wait for the stream to go live. So thank you. Thank you for that. I do, do appreciate that a lot. So that's very, very nice and kind, just in a sense. Now, where our energy stands right now is we stand with half energy and uh, we stand at the day of 1.20 p.m. Why? Very simple. Because uh, we passed out for the first time in the last episode. Yeah, we passed out for the first time. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's that's, uh, that's kind of why we're sitting here with uh, like half energy as it is. Yeah. Hey, Baby Duck. How you doing, Baby Duck? How's it going? Ainworth. How you doing, Ainworth? Oh, I forgot to say hi to you, Ainworth. Sorry about that. How you doing? <clears throat> Christy K. How's it going? Hey, hey, everything. Uh, hey, everything. Probably everyone. Uh, hope all are having a good day. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Hope everyone is having a good day. The first uh, week, I guess you could say like the first official week. Yeah, it's the first official week of October here, right? Um, you know, here we go. Giddy up. Now it's time for the holiday season to come rolling through uh, for the rest of the year. It's going to be busy, 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 right? For everyone. Well, depending. <laughs> Maybe not for everyone, everyone, but you know what I mean. All right. Um, where do we stand here as far as like where we... Oh, yeah. The biggest election. The election coming on day 13. Ay, 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 ay. All uh, right. Uh, to have and to hold, Francis and Angus are getting married soon. Can't wait for that. Uh, the, this rock is mine. Look for artifacts in the bottom levels of the mine and take them to Giva, which I think we might have a couple more. Really, we just need to continue with going uh, throughout the um, the mine shaft. Really, that's it. We got grapes growing. We have a couple more open plots that we could use right now if we wanted to, but uh, that is what it is. Looks like oranges, not cherries. Oranges are actually available and ready to go. Is that right? these ready to go they are pomegranates not yet but the oranges are very cool so our first collection of oranges very cool hey dixie chick how you doing good morning to you yes absolutely good morning uh da, da, da. <laughs> yeah good morning to you dixie chick hope all is well uh let me see let me just double check i mean we are kind of missing like one two pick up my shoe three four shut the door no we have plenty i think what we were missing is we were missing actually space uh so let's go ahead and add pumpkins here I was going to go up and down with, like, uh, you know, the organization of, of crops, but uh, I'm not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and plant some pumpkins down. We'll just kind of sprinkle stuff in uh, here and there. There we go. Pretty good. <clears throat> All righty. Uh, let's go ahead and go here. And uh, no, 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 no. Wait. Yeah, workbench. Workbench. That's what we need. We need one more garden bed if we can, please. And thank you. Thank you. Um, now... Are we pretty much set? We are pretty much set, aren't we? Yeah, there's not a lot of room else we can go going forward, so we got to just stick with what we got. Working while my doggy takes a nap. She ran off some energy earlier. Very good, very good. You got to get that. Like, that's probably one of the best things is like when you when you take your dog out for like a, a run or a walk, either or, at least for Bella, she goes for a walk and like she's a very stub, you know, she like she's she's a dog that's has small legs so like walking for her is like a is like an actual chore because her legs are so small so when she goes for a walk it's like she comes back home and she like just flops and it's the greatest thing ever right absolutely hey talia how you doing talia talia natalia natalia face. oh just thinking about my ma on the coldest fall days she'd always buy me a cup of pipe and hot cider oh i hope she's doing okay back in the city Hey, my mom's there too. 
Maybe our moms will meet and drink cider together. No, we, we've we already talked about cider. I'm not a big fan of the cider. I know some people are fans of the cider. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, Astro Moon. Astro Moon says, hi, first time seeing, uh, seeing a live. How is everyone? Well, I, I think on behalf of most people here, I think we're doing pretty swell. Good to see you, Astro Moon. How are you doing? All right, let's go to 17. I'm going to kind of like get through this day somewhat fast. Uh, just because um, cause we're already at, towards the end. Because we already started late. What the actual heck, dude? Like, this is special stuff, right? This is special stuff that we just have not been able to do, right? I mean, who goes down here and sees these giant, like, things and not be amazed? Uh, Tara, you should be amazed of what you're seeing here. I wonder if I need, like, an upgraded pickaxe to do something with that, or I don't even know. But there is a chest here. Do I have a lock-picking spell on me? I do. What's inside I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. Absolutely. There we go. Powered ruby. I, these powered rubies are going to do something. I don't know what they're going to do, but they're going to do something, right? They have to. I do see, like, these little pedestals. I feel like these little pedestals do something. Potentially. Anyways, yeah, I'm cold, but doing, uh, but doing well. Oh, very good. I wish I was cold. <laughs> I wish I was done with this heat here where I live. I'm ready for the cold. Let's go. Bring it on. How are you doing, crazy one? How's it going? Preem, how you doing, Preem? Uh, I like cold cider. Never heard of hot cider. Ah, see, I like sparkling cider. Not a fan of uh, hot cider, though. How you doing, Daniel? How, how's it going? Okay, I'm not prepared for this quite yet. We'll just walk out. <clears throat> uh, you are going to love what the power gems do. Oh, I'm all right. If that, now I'm excited. Now I'm intrigued. I'm ready for it now. Let me go ahead to pet the cat. Yes. Oh, look at the head scratches. Elowen, Elowen Elswell. Hopefully I said your name right. Elowen, how are you doing? How's it going? We have two more months of summer where I live. Wait a sec. How does that work? Is that seasonal or is that just weather? I'm 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 a little confused on that cuz How does that work? How many see, like when does summer start where you live? 2 months of summer cuz we just started fall autumn, right? About a couple weeks ago, right? I need the uh, fast spell. <clears throat> so if you have 2 months of summer and we just started fall I'm trying to wrap my head on that <laughs> on that one. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's make our, our own concoction here. Very good, Daniel. Very good. Power gems uh, were a game changer. Ooh, ooh, a game changer. You say, yeah, a game changer. Uh, let's see here. Uh, some speed boost. We need some black ink and a little bit of paper. We got a plenty of black ink. Yeah, plenty, plenty, plenty. At first, like in the beginning of the game, I was a little scared. I was like, "Oh my god, we're gonna need squid all the time to get uh, to get uh, black ink." But no, 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 not so much. Okay, let's go ahead and do this, and then grab four of those. That will be good. We have our incantation very well. Element says it went down to 45 uh, degrees in Ohio last night. Very well. I have friends that live in Ohio. I do. I do. I do. I do. They. They. They were like. I think it's. Well, I mean, it snows probably often, but um, uh, they moved to Ohio and uh, they were from California. And there was not a lot of time where there was a lot. Like it does snow where I live, but it doesn't last that long. Maybe like a couple of weeks if it snows, right? I was going to go down to the beach real quick, but I don't think I have enough time to go down to the beach. I'll just turn in for the night. And then we'll get our incantation going on now. Or in the morning. I'll take the heat over the cold. I don't want... I don't do well in the cold weather uh, thanks to my asthma. Ah, I see. Okay. By the way, hello, Samantha. I, I, I personally like the cold better than the heat. It's harder. I feel like it's harder to cool off than it is to warm up. But that's just me, of course. <clears throat> It's the starting of flood season for me. My outside drain almost overflow, overflowed with rain just now. Oh, my Lord. Flood season. Hey, Apache, how's it going? I'm working in the background today. Very well, very well, Apache. 
Oh, look at that. That's better. So much better to get this going on. <laughs> All right. Now that we can start our full day today uh, without being, uh, you know, you know, lacking a little bit on the energy. Let's go ahead and pet the chicken. We could get a new animal today, too. Maybe another chicken or so. That, that wouldn't be bad. Hancho's already at uh, full hearts. I hate to, like, get it to, like, full hearts and then sell them or butcher them off, but I'm not going to do that. No, no, no. Uh, getting the rain incantation is a very uh, is a very good one. Why? Because you can have the rain go, and then that kind of covers your crops for, you know, about a you know what is it like a day? No, actually a couple of days. Sorry, a couple of days in this game, so that you don't have to constantly do this every morning, right? So I do like that. Do this. Go. New York here. I'm not looking forward to it getting colder. I miss the hot weather. Oh yo yo. Hot weather? Well, in New York, how hot does it get? How hot does it get? Over here, we're talking like 110 degrees. That That's that's not fun. <laughs> that's not fun. I don't know. Unless people really, really like that. Unless they like, you know, going out, laying by the lake, laying by the pool, laying by this or that or that or this. Amanda says, you can only take off so many clothes, but yeah, you can always put more on. <laughs> well, I mean, you're right. You can only take so many clothes off. And then after you're like, oh my God, all my clothes are off and this still doesn't help. Then you have to start figuring out how to peel back the skin. <laughs> oh, I know that was bad. I don't know. I don't know. It's early today. It's early. Um, um, it's early this morning. That chicken could do with some friends. I agree. I agree. I feel like the chicken could do with some friends. For sure. Let's go inside town and see what's going on. See if there's any more word about what's happening as far as, like, election. See if there's anything happening with uh, the wedding. Oh, Amira, what do you have to say about the election, yeah? Hey, what do you think of the election, Amira? I think it's better to stay neutral on this. At least, publicly. I am the town doctor, after all. But I do find Mayor Otto's agitations about a neighborhood watch to be unsettling. Perhaps Marty would be more tolerant of differences. I kind of feel that way, but I don't know. I feel like maybe Marty. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm very kind of skeptical. I don't know. Finally, now that it's fall, I don't have to worry about my makeup running in the heat. Amira, your makeup never runs. <laughs> yes, it does. I try not to be vain, but I notice every time. Okay, okie dokie. Very well. Your eyes been does affected in both hot and cold. When are you getting more chickens? Yeah, I want to get more chickens. I, I do. Pancho should should have a friend. Absolutely. Uh, the cows and the and the sheep won't have won't come. I don't think until the barn comes. So we got to even get the barn uh, in in order too. Uh, hello, Thomas. Have I talked to you about uh, elections? I think we have. Yes. I wasn't sure if Francis and Angus were going to make it long enough here to get married. You thought they'd break up? No, no. I thought they'd move away. Establishing two businesses at once? Well, they're beating the odds financially and romantically. So, good for them. I wonder if I had gotten uh, Tara to vote differently in the election, if the results would have changed, or if this is a pre-program to turn out the way it turns out. Uh, well, that's a good question. I don't know. I don't know what the, um, how the game goes as far as, like, decision-making. There was one instance of, like, a decision-making time it, in the beginning of the game with, uh, Francis and Angus, I believe. But ever since then, we've never had, like, a decision-making quest. We only had one. And I was hoping there was going to be more to it. But there hasn't been. So... Francis and Angus are getting hitched, huh? That must be why he asked me about sourcing currants and almond essence for fruitcake when it's not even winter yet. Why would he want to make fruitcake for a wedding? Brah, I don't know. It's a thing in Scotland, I guess. <laughs> a gross thing, if you ask me. Fruitcake? I, I, I would have to say I'm not a fan of the fruitcake. I don't think so. I don't know. It's like a bunch of fruit in a cake, right? 
I wish Angus and Francis were having one of those fancy ceremonies where everyone dresses to the nines, but not every wedding can be like mine. Oh, not every wedding can be like yours. Hey, Cloudy, how you doing? Good morning to you. Yeah, absolutely. I finally convinced Angus to have our ceremony in the woods. The consciousness center is a non-starter. And town hall would just feel too shotgun wedding for me. <laughs> After everything we've been through together, we deserve to have a real big day. Well, where are you going to plan on putting this wedding at there, Francis? I think it's funny, Marty showed up roughly the same time as the silver, which I have never played this game, but I reckon Marty is the evil silver witch. Is that right? Oh. He has uh, something for us. Oh, paper? Excuse me? Hey, Tara. Some of my volunteers were going to pass out some flyers. They want to oh. introduce my ideas for a new, improved Fairhaven to the community. Let me guess. You need paper? You got it. It would be great to have you join the Marty party. This is, uh, this is interesting. Now, if I choose yes compared to no, does that mean that um, I now have been on his side... And officially on his side and that I support him. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Have you? It's great to have you join. Like this sounds like a job. Like oh, can you go make paper so that I can do these flower, uh, these fly flyers? And I say yes, I can do that job for you. Does not mean I support you in a political aspect. It's just a job. I'm doing a job. But it kind of confuses me because it says you got it. It would be great to have you join the Marty party. I will say yes. Sure, no problem. That's great. But not because I'm joining his Marty party. And we gotta get moving. Twenty papers. That's not too bad. Nautica Davis, how you doing, Nautica? Nautica Davis. Uh, so has been playing for about a week or two, and I just made it to the winter. And those power gems are a big upgrade. Also, I just got the barn built. Oh, very good. Very good, Nautica. Good to see ya. Can we vote for other candidate than two very sus candidates? Uh, nobody else is running. Nobody else wanted to run. I guess you have to run, right? To, in order to have two different candidates, or more than more than two of these candidates. I think um, we uh, offered, not offered, but we suggested someone to run. I forgot who, but they're like, no, we don't want to run. I think it might have been Thomas. I think Thomas, we're like, hey, why don't you run? And he's like, no, that's not for me. You can vote for either candidate in the election. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, all right. So then I, I'm not then um, having to, like, choose um, Marty, right? That's not, like, a choice that was made. Okay. We need a bunch of wood for uh, paper. This is why I'm doing this. Hey, Tara. Wait, there's a Tara? There's a Tara? There's a Tara? There's a real-life Tara. <laughs> How you doing, Tara? Just so checking in. Going to start of the stream and watch at double speed to, to catch up. I changed my name, used to be Merle, and super excited to watch more Wildflowers. Well, very good, Tara. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Hey, Not Given, how you doing? Can I pop that? No, I can't pop that. <clears throat> Dude, the music's bumping though. I will say the music is, is slapping a little bit here. I think we needed 16, 17, let's just make 20. We'll flat out just make 20. There we go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I helped both. It didn't affect anything I saw. Okay, very well. I know who the Silver Witch is, but I don't want to spoil it for you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I do. I do appreciate that. <laughs> I'm currently playing Hoko Life, and I'm in love with this game. I finally got the axe upgraded. Oh, very good. Do you have my paper yet? We have to get the word out about Fairhaven of the future. I do. Yes, here it is. Thanks. Now, which side do you think I should use for the photo? My right or my left? Your front. I'm joking. I don't have a bad side. Okay. All right. Two hundred dollars for that? That seems kind of like all right. Not enough. <laughs> well, I guess it's paper after all. If you win the election, will you move out of the ranch? Valid question. Isn't it tradition for the mayor to live in the mayor's mansion? No. 
this? No. Animals? Will come with me. We'll figure it out. No. No. Absolutely not. Hey, Matthew, how you doing? <clears throat> uh, Matthew says, have you heard anything on updates to this one? Uh, if, if you mean by update content, uh, the only thing I heard was when they told me that um, there will be updates, but they, they, they weren't very specific on anything. They just said, we plan on creating more updates in content uh, after release of Steam and uh, Switch. So it could be any time. Hello. Oh. Thank goodness the drought unpleasantness is over. Now Damon doesn't have to worry about closing. I didn't realize you were so concerned about Damon's bar. Yes, well, my husband and I have different views on it. A truly charming community needs at least one local watering hole, no? And there's no better place for people watching. My favorite sport. Absolutely. I, anybody, anybody a fan of the people watch? Yeah. I know there's some people out there that people watch. I know there's fans out there. Come on now. I'm really thinking about voting for Marty. And it's not just because I haven't had to source meat from Off Island since he got here. Oh, wait, do you think he would give up the ranch if he became mayor? Oh. Do you think he would give up the ranch if he became mayor? Well, he kind of said yes. Kim might want the ranch. And she's a butcher. So, yes. Uh, absolutely he would. Immediately. Uh-oh. Maybe I've miscalculated this. Uh-oh. Uh-ohs, indeed. Maybe not. Sophia told me that Julia thinks I'm cool, which is honestly very sweet. Oh, no. Hey, Can strawberry I cake. Person? I need to process this. Hey, Dagon, how you doing? <laughs> hey, Queen, how's it going? <sighs> when fall starts, it's pumpkin this and pumpkin that. But who cares when Oktoberfest is around the corner? As Bruno can no doubt tell you, there's nothing like a good German Mazen beer. Mazen beer? Yeah, if Tara were, if Tara was to run for uh, for president, if she was supposed to like run for mayor, everybody would vote for her, right? Absolutely. Ready for your first ever Fair Haven election? No, sure. I'm not. Is there gonna be a debate? I guess so. It should be fun, but I think Mayor Soft will come out on top. Very well. Well, I just talked Angus and Francis out of using calla lilies in their wedding. Calla lilies are funeral flowers. Everyone knows that. Yup. I, uh, I absolutely knew that. Hey, Teresa, how you doing? Teresa says, I just learned bars aren't legal here. Restaurants can have a alcohol license, but there are no bars. That's interesting. Oh, Angus, why are you sitting out here by yourself? Do you know who you're voting for yet, Tara? I can't decide. Francis <laughs> is pretty determined to vote for Marty, but Messenger Cameron thinks we should support Otto. What do you think, what Angus? You like? I like not having political arguments at home, for one thing. Facts, dude. Then I get no snuggles. I just want to make baked goods and cuddle. Is that too much to ask for in life? <laughs> this is actually probably the greatest guy on this entire island. You look excited. What's the occasion? Nothing in particular. I'm just excited that it's fall. There's no better weather for sneaking still warm cookies right off the baking sheet. Very well. Hey, Darren, how's it going? Malls are a prime spot for people watching at the legal form of it. There you go. Always watching, seeing. Oh, what did that person buy at that store? You know, this or that or that or this, right? Absolutely. I worked at retail for a long time that involved some people watching. Hmm. Well, I mean... In a, uh, in a don't take my stuff sense too, right? <laughs> a lot of, a uh, lot of people watching on that one too. Well, just in general, just like sit there and be like, what are they going to do? Are they going to come to me or are they not going to come to me? Are they going to ask me a question or are they not going to ask me a question? <laughs> that too. Me too, Angus. Me too. I, you, I, I felt that one. That one felt like that one felt good. Oh, journeyman has something. Oh, and Alina has something too. Let me go ahead and put a blessing in real quick. I would like to put my peanuts in it. I said peanuts. Not... I put... I, I, I said peanuts. Um, yes. We'll talk to the journeyman, Mr. Damon. Hello. 
That looks like pumpkin pie, and I am very much so excited. You heard about the debate coming up? I sure did. I didn't think towns this small had political debates. Oh, trust me. Growing up in Fairhaven taught me that there's no town too small for local election drama. And uh, speaking of drama, <laughs> I have an idea that'll make the debate unforgettable. Uh, okay, sounds like bad news. Out with it? No, 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 out with it. Oh, this should be Let's hear good. it. Let's hear it. Oh, I knew you'd be interested. I don't want to hurt Otto, even though he's hurt my business by doubling liquor taxes. I just think it'd be good for the guy to eat a slice of humble pie, which, if eaten before the debate, will make him cluck like the chicken he is. And Whoa! You want me to make this humble pie, right? Yeah, but it's a special pie. It's got a potion. I know, dirty man. It was figurative. I thought she said dirty man. Uh, so if he eats the pumpkin pie, is he going to turn into a chicken? Is that what you're saying? Otto is going to turn. Yeah. Why not? It'll be funny. Yeah. Uh, let's get to work, novice. You need bones, some silver essence, and a bake a pumpkin pie. Brew that up and bring me the drop. I'll take care of the rest. <laughs> I'm in it, I think. Pumpkin pie recipe. Pranking pumpkin pie. So the journeyman has asked for a pranking pumpkin pie to liven up, uh, liven up the election debate. Pranking pumpkin pie. That looks so damn good, I tell you what. With the whipped cream on top. That right there, look at that. Ugh. I, I can't get enough. Hey, Farang. Hi, Optimistic. How you doing? Uh, not uh, another Lucy. How you doing? Hey, Pat. How's it going? Autumn is the time when the veil between worlds is at its thinnest. Traveling to the gloaming is easier than ever, which means we must recast the glamour over the stone circle. The glamour? I'm sorry, what is that? It's a spell that glamour? conceals our circle from prying eyes. Gloria and Giacomo were our best glamour casters. They kept the rest of Fairhaven from getting too close by accident. Now that they're both gone, the task falls to us. The Farseer Adept and I will cast the Glamour. But once we do that, we'll all need to drink a potion that allows us to see through the Glamour and find the Stone Circle. The potions are brewed from the flower of the hedgehog grass, which only grows in the gloaming. Two of you will need to go retrieve it. I want to go. Can I? Yes. Still an acolyte. And acolytes can't go into the gloaming. Don't tell her what she can't do. So it's time for you to be promoted. From this day on, you'll be known as Herbalist. And to celebrate, I whipped you up some spirit flame. Don't trust anything from this guy. Little will visitors to your shop know they're dealing with a bona fide certified member of the Fairhaven Coven. Congrats! Grandma would be so proud of you. He'll turn you into a chicken. And Herbalist, the two of you will visit the outskirts of the gloaming and retrieve six hedgehog grass flowers. Adept, you will accompany them. I can't think of better company. Oh. Speak to me yeah. again, and I will place the first keystone in its column. About dang time. I, I, I got to uh, recently, I think yesterday, I, I saw the face of some of these actors and actresses. And I put a, I finally got the face of Violet. <clears throat> so good. So good. Uh, Lena, yes. Um, so. Are you ready, novice? I, no. Yes, no. Not yet. Make Hang on a sec. I don't think so. Hang on a sec. Let me just see. Uh, this is speak to the high priestess when you're ready to enter the gloaming. Oh, okay. Um, I think we might be ready to do that. Actually, we just don't have. We're not gonna have the uh, ingredients yet for the pumpkin pie because we're growing pumpkin as it is. So yeah, I think we might be ready to do that already. Yeah, do it. Are you ready, novice? I think I know where Emmy Parker's son learned where to prank someone. <laughs> nah. <laughs> That's a good, that's a, that's a good, yeah, that's a good shout there. I needed a glamour casting at my house with all my windows open the, those days without power. No need to see me walking around in my boxer briefs. <laughs> as much as I'll ever be. <laughs> Very well. Novice, herbalist, Adam, follow me to the stone circle. This oh, look at that. A path hey! The stone circle and the least Can't dangerous stay, part but of the wanted to pop into I was hoping support. we could all stay out of the Have gloaming for everyone. decades. But the rate at which magic is flowing from the wellspring means that's not possible. I will keep them safe. I promise. You know, I 
shouldn't be surprised by all the flashing sparklies at this point. But they are so pretty. Make good decisions, please. Thank you, Leslie, for that. That was very kind. Thank you for the uh, super chat there. That was very kind. Good to see you. Can't stay for uh, can't stay, but wanted to pop in and show my support. Thank you very much, Leslie. I appreciate that. So collect enough hedgehog grass to make potions for every coven member. Oh my God! Look at this place. Wow. Can we talk about this? Amira, can we talk about what we're looking at right now? Which will you be? A good uh, witch. There are no good witches or bad witches. Only good or bad actions. Right. Um, this is incredible. What? What is this? I agree. Uh, yes, the barriers. We've never really understood where they come from. They are impervious to everything but pure magic. So, you'll need to blast it with your wand. Blast it? Oh, well, which spell should I use? No spell. Just point and shoot. Okay. Pull out the gat, I guess. Okay, right. Well, bam. Good. Give it a couple more hits. Got it. All right. Keep coming. Good job. Watch your magic reserves in future encounters with them. Oh, I see. Okay. Ah, uh, all right. I love the characters in the story in this game. Well, some I like this less obviously. Amazing. I know. They're pretty good. Be on your guard. It's beautiful, but dangerous. Like me. Sweet snapdragons! I just saw a vine move. Everything here is alive with power from the wellspring, but they each translate that power differently. We're just looking for a flower, right? Yes, but these ones defend themselves from being picked. That's why they're called hedgehog grass flowers. Okay, right. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, right, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what the heck is this thing? I'm not sure how to get through here yet. I wasn't even questioning that. I was questioning the thing inside of it or whatever the heck this is. Like a little caterpillar with freaking wings. Oh. God, that's creepy, dude. Um, do I touch it? I I do. Yikes. Yeah! God damn it, dude. I think we must be getting close. This is why I don't play scary games. With your wand. Oh my god, dude. That that scared me. Hey Chelsea, how you doing, Chelsea? Hope you're doing well. God damn it. My lord. <laughs> All right. Is this it? Yes. Now we just need five more. Okay, that's one. One down. Uh, give me some magic, please. Uh, we'll put some freaking mushrooms in there. I don't know why that scared me so bad. That terrified me. Hey! Gaming Nana, thank you so much for that. Appreciate that. Thank you for the super chat. How's it going? Well, how's it going with you? How's it going with you? Thank you for that. Appreciate that. All is well. Hope all is well. Oh my god. Alright. So far, spicy. Little spicy. Okay, hit it with this. We'll be okay. We'll be just fine with our magic. We have enough. That, that actually costs a lot of magic. You're awesome. Oh, that's very good. That, that's good that you're doing good. I'd love to hear that. Yeah, go in. All right. Okay, don't touch me. There we go. How many do I have? Four. Okay, four out of six. Very good. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yep. Hey, Flip. How's it going? How's it going? Passing by to say hi. Well, hello, Flip. How you doing? Hey, Pamela. How you doing, Pamela? There we go. Is that gonna be all my magic right there? Just about. Got it. Good work. Let's get back to the stone. The vines won't attack us as we retreat. We've cowed them into submission. Oh, hold up. I've never seen a plant like this before. Oh. I've only heard of them, but I think this is an echo blossom. Whoa. All the petals are covered in crystal. Echo blossoms look normal, but if you grasp the stem, the flower takes a short impression. And if you crack the layer of crystals. Oops! Oh. It's slippery. Oh! Oh! No. No way. Oh my god! I hope this works. Echo blossoms are powerful magic. And my mama said 
Not many of them are left, but if I don't make it out of the gloaming tonight, I want someone to know I was here. And oh my God. Be my little breadcrumb trail. Gloria, is it true, Violet? That was your mom? I, I can't believe I just, yeah. That was her. Oh my God. No, she came this way the night she disappeared. It seems so. Violet, are you all right? What a shock to your system. Oh my God! I saw her. I really saw her. She's excited. Yes. She's not sad. Look for more of these. Are you kidding? I'm not letting a single one get away. I need to know everything. I agree. Before we get into the search, we need to get back and speak with a coven about it. Ugh, fine. But then I want to come right back and begin looking. That was a lot of information at once. Return to the coven and speak to the high priestess. Right. Okay. Hello. We got what you wanted. Hey, Jody, lurking and working. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. Hope you have a fantastic day. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Flowers, just like you asked. How wonderful! Well done, you three. Novice, distill exactly. the essence from the flowers in your sanctum. Then brew six potions. We have something else to tell you as well. We found an echo blossom in the gloaming. And, and it had an impression of my mom. She was there the night she disappeared. By all the stars of the first witches. I didn't think echo blossoms grew there anymore. But if all three of you saw the impression of Gloria, we'll have to look into this. For now, herbalist, rest up. Oh, honey, what a day you've had. In the meantime, novice, please attend to the Glamour Neutralization Potion. I hope you can have several cauldrons going. This potion takes a while to brew. I'll get to work on them right away. Okay, um, make six Spectre Potions so the Coven can see inside the Glamour. New recipe, the Spectre Potion. Essence of Sight. All right. Now we're getting into some spicy stuff. I will probably get a little bit of magic, though. Let me just make a blessing. Donate some blueberries, maybe. Some blackberries as well. There we go. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. I, they basically reminded me of Help Me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. But then also, like, I thought, I thought, um, Violet, I thought she was going to be very, um, what is it, very sad. But, no, she was, like, excited. She wanted more. And I don't blame her. I want to know what these, uh, like, like the, uh, like she said, breadcrumbs are going to, like, unfold here. Let's go downstairs. Essence of the spirit, right? Essence of sight, sorry. Okay, craft that. And then what do we need for the potion itself? Okay. Nigella. Nigella, which we have. Powdered calcium and or bone meal. Okay, so bone meal or powdered calcium will do that. Okay, very good. So we can do that probably, right? Bone meal. We have enough bones. Powdered calcium. We have tons of these. So let's make six of these. Right? And then let's see here. What do we need for the pumpkin pie? We have heather. Essence of silver and then a pumpkin pie itself. So we need to see what we need what we need for a pumpkin pie. We're gonna need pumpkins, right? Probably. Let's see, let's see. Pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie, uh, pumpkin pie. We need one pumpkin, we need sugar, and we need cinnamon. That's not too hard to do. We can actually make sugar right now. Which we will. We'll, we'll craft all of our sugar from our sugar cane. And then we will probably just say buy cinnamon and then grow pumpkin. Which we're doing right now. If we want to do this, we can make it a... Hopefully I can get there fast enough. Where's the pumpkin at? Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Maybe we can throw a speed on it. A miracle grow. Yes. Let's do that. There we are. We'll get a speed on that one. Everything else, they'll, you know, they'll grow fine. I could put like a boosted yield to, to them, but I'm not going to. It's fine. There we are. Am I ready for bed? It's fun watching your reactions. Well, thank you. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Just, just give me a moment. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Uh, hey, that so-called Animatrix has loved the story, trying to play and catch up, but looking forward to more. Oh, very well. All that food gonna grab a snack? <sighs> I need pumpkin pie. Tis the season. Now it is October. Tis the season. I need pumpkin pie in real life. That's what I need. Pumpkin pie in actual real life. Okay, let's water our crops. I'm kind of tempted to make a rain spell. Do I have one? I do not have a rain spell on me. I'm tempted to make a rain spell, though. Liquor from the bar also replaces magic in exchange for stamina. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like, anytime we ever have done any, like, beer drinking, beer brewing, uh, we can just kind of make beer and do it that way, too. Which might be good for the uh, for that area, right? There we go. <clears throat> hey, gamer bro. Uh, use flowers for magic, bro. Using the stuff is not good and only need two to three flowers for full magic. I mean, let's be fair here, though, Mr. Gamer bro. Uh, uh, it works still. <laughs> the way we're doing it, it still works. It doesn't matter which way. You just do it. Am I gonna am I gonna make a fuss over some blueberries and blackberries or some mushrooms? No. <laughs> Not really. I love all the different areas in this game. Normally you get a village in one hidden area and that's it. And this game does that plus a secret village magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Exactly right. Yes. All like it, it continues to show more, right? And like, oh, more to this or more to that or Come on, you get more and more Tilda, as you go. Please. Mutilda? That's a fantastic name. Uh, is this a bad time? Uh, I don't even care enough to be embarrassed anymore. I can't get close enough to Mutilda to milk her. What? <laughs> She's not a Marty fan? That's more than that. She got her vaccine Look at her. recently and now she's skittish. Oh she my god. Really approach her. Look at that son of a gun. Easy. But I never imagined it could be this hard. All my life, I worked for my dad in the city, helping him with his consulting business. Why are you a rancher now? Sending rapid fire emails and picking the perfect spot for a business lunch, but calming animals? Why did I think I could figure that out? Maybe I should just go back to the city. Um, you should, she should be scared. Calm down, you're doing fine. Let's just say you're doing fine. You're learning something new, so give yourself a break. You're doing fine. Well, I suppose that's true. I appreciate the perspective shift. Why don't you try approaching her slowly and speaking in a gentle voice? If you say so. It's okay, Mutilda. I'm not going to hurt you. Sounds like you're singing to her. You have to use a real baby voice. Oh, I'll do it. Are you a good girl? Are you a cow? <laughs> Ever been a cow? <laughs> it worked. You are a cattle genius. You're a freaking cow. Hey, thanks for helping me. You could have just walked away, but you didn't. Oh my god, that is hilarious. Are you a cow? Are you a little little freaking cow? Yes, Mutilda is a freaking cow. That is so funny. Uh, can I purchase an animal off you now after that freaking exchange there with Mutilda? Um, give me another 250 for the chicken. You're lucky I, 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 I kind of, you know what? For what you just did there, Marty, with the whole, are you a little cow? I'll buy him. I'll, I'll buy the chicken. Here's your animal. Save yourself an embarrassment. What would you like to call her? Um, what should we call this? Pancho? <laughs> Beatrix, Gus, Lefty, Dinner, Pita, Nuggets, Feathers, Chicken Little, Polly, Along Came Polly, starring Jennifer Aniston and Ben Stiller. I think I made that joke the first time I saw that name. Damn it. Uh, Tendi, Plucker, and Beekman. Peepers, Lala, Layla, Layla, or Egbert, Meg, Marty, Henrita, Cluckadoo, Sweet Pea, and Waddles. I do like Pita. Pita is kind of funny. Um, hmm. let's do, 
Let's do Chimkin. What the heck? Let's do Layla. Name it drumsticks. Layla. Let's do Layla. That's that sounds cute, yeah? Definitely a name. Layla and Pot. Not Pancho. Lay Layla and Pancho. That's what we'll do. Layla and Pancho. Hey Michelle, how you doing? You have pumpkin spice, uh, pumpkin spice coffee creamer. That sounds pretty good. Funny thing is, I ever chip my tooth from chewing the sugarcane stalk. Ooh. The vet is always scary. Took my cat to the vet last weekend, and she hissed at him so much. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't think cats are a fan of the vet. <clears throat> How far are you into this game? I'm still in spring. The grandma is sick, but I know already what happens in the summer. Uh, I'm in fall. I'm in the autumn time. Susie T. Susie T. How you doing, Susie T? Hello there. Found anything good in the mine today? It's worth checking every stone. Other miners may have overlooked something good. I did Pancho and Lefty, but I'm a bit older than you. Thought it was funny. How much do I need for silver wood axe? A thousand. That's that's quite a hefty amount there. That is, it's quite a hefty amount. <laughs> Anything you got to say? Yes, he wants silk. Oh, of course he does. There's one of my favorite citizens. Wonderful. Banner to hang up at our victory party in the mayor's mansion. Auto soft, Fairhaven strong. Oh, victory party. Feeling confident, I see. Why wouldn't I be? Has anyone said they actually plan to vote for the new guy? They hardly know him. <laughs> of course they don't. Anyway, could you supply me with some fabric for the banner? Yes. Sure. No. I'll do both of them. Excellent. Well, you know what I mean. It's going to be the best banner any mayor ever had. Huge! You, there you go. Got it for you. Do you have my fabric yet? Vanessa wants to get them painted so they have time to dry before election day. Yes, here you go. Fantastic! Thanks for doing your part to make my celebration a success. I wish I could extend an invitation, but it's really just a few dozen of my closest donors. I, I mean, friends. A banner day for Otto. 200. Well, I guess we paid for our chicken, and he paid for our chicken. I'm so pleased to officiate Angus and Francis's wedding, although I understand Messenger Connor is rather disappointed. Maybe he could officiate a recommitment ceremony for Vanessa and me instead. I wonder if any villagers uh, are like, why is there a boat in the teeny tiny lake? <laughs> Do you go see the folks in Ravenwood? I don't. I should more often, though. I should. In the woods. Francis's floral vision would have been a lot for one florist to supply for the consciousness center or town hall, but now nature will provide some of the decor. Because at that point, uh, Mayor Otto realized he done effed up. Hey, Luis, how you doing? Whoops, hang on, time out. <clears throat> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We should probably, um... Yeah, we should probably uh, make sure those are going well. Dang it. Uh, yeah, let's go back home. We gotta make sure those things are... Hey, you know what? Hang on a sec. Are you selling any cinnamon by any chance? It must be election time again. I can tell because Otto actually stopped to talk to me. I work right next to his dad, and I think he said hello to me twice in four years. Very well. Uh, do you have cinnamon? You do have cinnamon. I just need one. One piece of cinnamon. Thank you. <clears throat> I want to get this game just get a chance a, at a book-loving werewolf. Uh, he looks like my real-life boyfriend, which is super fun. Did you know that you can uh, leave flowers at grandma's grave? Yeah, we, 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 I think we've done, we've done that one time. I forgot what flowers we've done. Uh, but I wonder if they've disappeared or like have gone away since. 
But yeah, that, that's a nice touch to the game, absolutely. Got that. How long does that take? Four hours? Okay. Dude, the music, man. Still going hard. When you're at the mine, pick the rocks that are ready and sell them to Natalia. Extra money? Wait, when... Pick the rocks that are ready? Oh, we... They, they, the season changed over. Yeah, the season changed over, I think. So, um... I mean, come on now. Look at that. There you go. There you go. When I found out Lena was High Priestess, I wasn't really surprised. Some part of me always knew. But did she know the truth about me? Even when we were kids? <laughs> Otto, is, Otto is kind of disrespectful. He really never talks, uh, talks to the stall owners. Like, that's your economy, right? <clears throat> Don't forget to make the pie. I have to wait. I have to wait till I get pumpkins before I can make the pumpkin pie. Yeah, I'm waiting for my pumpkins to grow first. Hello, Angus. Messenger Cameron's <clears throat> pushing hard for Francis and me to have our wedding at the Consciousness Center. But Francis isn't going to go for it. He says he's always wanted to get married in nature. And as much as I hate those woods, they do look like a fairy tale in the right You gotta get married in the nature, Angus. I saw on their Twitter that the devs decided to have a live orchestra play the music. That's really cool. Love that. That's really cool. I did not know that. <clears throat> we talked to the uh, to the chickens, right? Yeah, we talked to the chickens. I watered my plants, right? Just to make sure. Yeah, we watered all the plants. I might make a um, a rain incantation so that we can make it rain, baby. What do I need for that? I need essence of silver. Having another one of this thing uh, going on might not be a bad idea. Um, let's see. Another distillery in here. We need wood and 250 gold for that. All right. Let me see. Do I have anything going in the in the brewer? Aha! Uh -huh. There we are. Put some more hops in there. Absolutely. Uh, what about the silkworms? Get that going on. Very good. Anything else worthwhile that I can do? I mean, beeswax maybe. I need a little bit more wood for the beeswax, so let's do that. Let's grab a little bit more wood. This tiny, tiny little tree here. Perfect. I'm looking forward to see what happens with that pie. Uh, I missed that quest when playing through. Oh, really? Really? It wasn't like a quest you, you had to do? Interesting. Couldn't Francis and Angus get married on the beach as more of, of a compromise if he really hates those woods so much? That's a good that's a good point. Uh, that's a good point because they don't want to get married at the church. <clears throat> or at least Francis doesn't want to get married at the church. Um, Francis doesn't want to get married in front of the town hall. So yeah, why not the... Why not the um, absolutely. Why not the... Uh, you know. Why not the beach? That's a good point. Very good point. Like where we held that festival at, right? The summer? The flower... Um, was it not the flower festival, but we were like the, uh, you know, Tara was sitting in the chair, that, that festival. Good point. <clears throat> Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> like button. No, I haven't sold any flowers off at all yet. No, I have not. <clears throat> Time for the reptile and the amphibians to come out of the woodwork. <laughs> Mind the occasional sighting. Oh, that are ready to pick up? Oh, the rocks that are ones that, that are ready to pick up. Is that what you mean? Like the ones that are just like chilling around, like these, this one right here by my by my face here. 
They, I think they sell for like a dollar each, right? Or like a coin each, a gold each, right? Yeah. It'd be better if I had that spell, right? That spell where it like, um, it, uh, it grabbed things for me. Hey, Peter. How you doing, Peter? How's it going? Sparkly gems. Uh, can you get them? I'm not sure what to do with these sparkly gems yet. There might be uh, something coming eventually to tell me more about them. But as of right now, no. <clears throat> How dare you autoplay cans? I was doing research and then boom. <laughs> Are you doing Jefferson? I'm trying to get the key to go down another level. We're trying to get the, um, what is it? It's the, uh, what is it? There are the, this right here, the artifacts. That's what we're trying to get right now. And I think they're all in different chests. I don't think they're like in a rock or I don't think you have to dig for them or anything like that. That's good to hear, Peter. Very good. Maybe a jackhammer. Bring on the dinkum uh, jackhammer, please. Give me the charging station. Give me all the above, please. Let's go. Get it in. There we go. I was watching the last dev update for the Rising Star 2, and it was very infor informat informative. informative. Um, are you talking about the one that happened last month, or was there one that happened just like like a day or two ago? But no, yeah, the the um, the dev updates are really good, the videos. I like that he does a video format compared to like a list of like patch notes. Did I freeze time? I did not freeze time. I could have. I definitely could have. And I might have should have, but I'll see if I could get lucky and not have to use it. Doesn't seem like that's going to be the case, but look at that. There was a chest in here. Now, that might be the artifact right here. What's inside? Send it. Ah, John's first letter. Dear sirs, after a thorough investigation, we found... Uh, no signs of unauthorized intruders in the mines. The worker who reported seeing unusual activity has been referred to the local doctor's office for medical evaluation. I hope that brings this matter to rest. Sincerely, John Alden. Giva, here we come. We're going to be coming right back to Giva. They're cute, but the bigger cousin. Oh, the, the, the lizards. Or the end of what they're, is that what they're called, right, lizards? Okay. Between this game and Coral Island, uh, soon I'm ex so excited for this channel. It's going it's such a fun community and love nearly all the games you play. Make it super fun. Oh, very well. Thank you, Tara. Tara Hill. Tara Hill. I know we got another Tara, huh? Tara, Tara. Appreciate that. Thank you. I have to pay a permit to my local city hall to have a garage sale. I did not know that. What the heck? That's a thing? I mean, I know, like, at least the last time I looked up on the law on that kind of stuff, on, like, garage sale, yard sale, is that you were allowed to have, I think, two a year, and that was it. You couldn't do two a year. You didn't have to get a permit or anything, but you can only make two a year, or have two, have two a year. Two days out of the year, sorry. Um, but, you know, that's obviously where we live here. I thought that was like universal though. I didn't know you had to get a permit in some places. Essence of silver. I should have probably made that first. I want I want the rain to come, but hmm. there are two major updates for the game plan for this year. Oh, very good, very good. Not this year, as in 2022, but as in the next 12 months. Oh, okay, okay. I see you now. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he was making another project or something like that. Hmm. 
So we finally got our flowers in. Turtle head flowers. I'm going to take two of them. Or two sets. And then I think what I might do is leave these other two flowers here. And then set these up with more crops for now. More fennel. And maybe another pumpkin. And we'll let these kind of grow for now. <clears throat> you don't use them much, so I sell them to Natalia. The, the flowers, right? Yeah. Hey, Lori. How you doing, Lori? Lori says, I started playing this about a week ago, and I love it. Oh, very good. Very, very good. I believe in my country, it's not allowed at all. All you have to go to is a city organized market where you can set up. Then, uh... Then again, uh, most people here don't have garages or front uh, front lawns. Kind of like go to a, um, what is it called? A swap meet. Yeah, swap meet. Those are fun to go to, though. I approve. It's called a monitor lizard. Okay. His cousin is a crocodile. Oh, God. that That's terrifying. Actually terrifying. We got lemons. We got mulberries. Hooray. And we got chickens. Stops people from leaving their yard sale up year round. Um, like they do where I live. Some folks yards are absolutely trash because the they leave yard sale stuff out in the weather till it's gone. Ah, I see. I see. And depending on where you live, of course, like tax reasons too. <laughs> they don't want you running a business and not reporting the income, at least here in the United States. They don't want you to do that. They say, if you're making any money at all, you got to be sharing that money with us. Except for Florida, except for you live in Florida, right? I think Florida, you have a, uh, I think there's no uh, like income tax, right? Not just Florida. There's other states, I think, that have no income tax. But I know Florida is one of them. I think Cal California has one of the highest income taxes in the country. Which hurts a little bit. I'm kind of tempted to go straight into the mineshaft again. Oh, wait. You know what? Let's go to Giva. Let's go find Giva. Let's go give Giva a Giva. No, wait. We need to get Giva all these artifacts, though. So we got to get all five. Yeah, let's go into um, let's go into the uh, mine shaft and freeze time. Hey, Masumi, how you doing, Masumi? All right, so let's send it here. Let's go freeze time. Gears that turn and clocks that time. There we go. Hooray! <clears throat> Christy says, as far as I, as far as I have known, you don't need anything to have a yard sale where I live. People have them all the time, multiple times a year. It's probably one of those like uh, gray area, um, kind of like laws. Like, it's a, it's technically enforced. If it's enforced, <laughs> a big if. Like, I don't know who you would call, right? If you if you saw your neighbor having like a yard sale, right? Most of the time, people would be like, they're having yard sale. And they might even join in. They'd be like, you know what? I'm going to come over and see what you have for sale. And then to, like, report it? How would one even report it? Who are you going to call? The city? Are you going to call the, the your emergency service? Are you going to call 911? you can call the non-emergency service? You're like, There's, this person is having a yard sale. Come stop them. <laughs> I see why they have permits. Okay, it's only $5 and I apply online. Oh, come on. That's $5. The city's like, let me just grab $5 from you. And then I guess you're covered. 
So wait, you can you can have a yard sale for as long as you want then for the whole year? You're not limited to days? Is that what happens? Or how does that all happen? Are you still limited to days? No state income tax in Florida? Yeah, that, no, I didn't think so. No state income tax for Texas? Is Texas one of the states too? I think Tennessee might be one of those states too. <clears throat> Maybe use it on these rocks. Because I think that's where you find the keys the most is these stone rocks. I don't think you find the the keys in the in the actual like these marble rocks. Maybe you do. I don't know what the um what the key spawn rate is. If it spawns just in rocks or if it spawns in these like stones here too as well. Hey Lexi, how you doing? Have a good one, Susie T. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out with us. I appreciate it. Delaware has uh, income tax, no sales tax. I live in Delaware. Ah, okay, I see. Yeah, um, uh, Oregon. Oregon has income tax. They have very high property taxes as well, but they have no sales tax. But Oregon also has the law where you're not allowed to pump your own gas. I think Oregon might be the only only state in the country that does that still i don't know that you you can only you, you're not allowed to pump your own gas i think i don't know if any other state out there does that we're gonna have to eat some food here in a sec luckily we have an apple pie on us jersey is jersey one of those uh, states you can't do either there we go. I just ate an apple pie that looked like a kiwi. <laughs> hey. Ah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, Tara. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Okay, so now we made it to the next level. That was from a regular rock, by the way. How many chests are in here? We have one chest. Um, Two chests. That is it. So just two chests in this level. We gotta go make some lockpick incantations. I have a few neighbors who would report me. Yes, they have reported a few uh, weeds in my front yard. Oh my god. That sounds god awful. Aww. Neighbors like that. Ay, ay, ay. Are they retired? <laughs> Do they have a lot of time on their hands? <laughs> we need two of these. I think we have eggs. You know, if you didn't know, you have to have eggs to make a lockpick. Incantation. Key ingredient, eggs, baby. <clears throat> Jersey, everyone from Jersey who goes to Florida acts like a complete child when they have to pump their own gas. See, from here, we live, personally, we live close to Oregon. And so, um, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Um, when you go to Oregon, and then you forget that you're not allowed to do that, that's when it becomes an issue. Why, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the cup of coffee. That was very hot of you to do. Hot coffee, baby. Hot, hot coffee. <laughs> Appreciate that. Oh, you are? Okay. Have a good day. What's inside? I cannot see. Whoop. I'll open you up and set you free. I will see you soon. Ah, dang it. I don't even know what I just got. I, I apologize, everyone. I just kind of got distracted. I got distracted. A very, uh, a very attractive individual came into my room 
and gave me some hot coffee. Um, what the heck did I just get? An emerald. Thank you. An emerald. Emerald? Emerald power? Was it a powered emerald? Oh, there's the other chest. What's inside? I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. Dear sirs, it is my unfortunate duty to report that the damage done to our royal uh, rotary drill rig, our drag line, and our hydraulic shovel was intentional. Whoever it was knew what he was doing. Whether it was a disgruntled employee or even sabotaged by a com a comp a competing sorry a competing mining competing competing mining concern is not for me to say but the culprit will be easy to spot he left strands of red hair behind uh, we'll soon get to the bottom of this soon enough sincerely john alden very well so we have one more artifact that we need to find so we need to go one more level down which is fine uh, we're not gonna be able to do that well maybe we could you know what i'll i'll, I'll, I'll give it a valiant shot here Let's go. A valid shot. Valiant shot. Something shot. I'll give it something. I did not sleep well last night. I've had a lot of uh, stress lately. And then on top of that. Dogs. <laughs> it's it's not it's not bad stress. Let me just let me let me reverb that real quick. It's not bad stress. It's good stress. It's just, you know, it is what it is. Maybe it's anxiety. I don't know. I still got to like differ the two. They said hi to the beautiful Danielle. Did you hear that? She said hi. Bye. Have a good one. Have a great time doing that hair. Make sure to take pictures. Don't forget to take pictures. <clears throat> Honestly, I wish it was required everywhere. It would prevent a lot of major spills and people driving away with the pump in their, uh, pump in their car and more attention to the pumps in general is good. Yeah, you know. Plus, you have those people that uh, pump their gas with their car on. <laughs> then you have people that pump their gas with a cigarette in their mouth. You know, stuff like that. And you know, you could avoid that. Absolutely. Um, it, it's just I think it just would be difficult depending on where you live. I think economy wise, because if you hire somebody to run your gas station we all know gas stations you're this is the problem right gas stations they don't make money off of the gas at least maybe i don't know maybe in uh well no oil oil companies are actually making a profit here but gas stations don't make money off of gas gas stations make money when you go into their store and buy food buy drinks buy snacks that's where the gas stations make money so if you have less people getting out of their car, you have less people coming into your gas station. Uh, a lot of people like liquor and stuff like that. I mean, that's a very big profit margin in the gas station industry. I think they make maybe like cents off of the gas you actually pump, you know? So having that overhead cost of having an employee might be a little bit different in certain states. Just based off of taxes and, and all this and this and that and that and this and just uh, where and how to get oil, you know? I mean, we talk about it a little bit. Like, I mean, you look in Florida. I was there recently and you guys and gals have incredible gas prices. You might say, oh, our gas prices are high. No, in my standard, they are great. We're still sitting over here at 5 and $6 a gallon, man. But... Almost a dollar of that is all done through state taxes. Not even federal taxes. State taxes. So that kind of sucks. I can make some noodles. I don't know if the noodles are worth it, though. Don't know if they are. Does this game have a co coffee mod? Sweet potato, green beans? Do I have green beans on me? I have corn on me. I have nothing on me. I might not have... Well, I, I do have fish fingers I can make. 
We'll make fish fingers. It's actually not a bad thing to have. Yeah, not a bad thing to have overall. I think that's all the fish I have. Flan, maybe? No. Restorative. Uh, rest, restorative tea. That's a good one. Give me six of those. Oh, look at that. That's what I need right there in my life. Right there. I tell you what, she made a damn well good coffee. My God. Good for her. Am I ready for bed? Why does the mine look like this? I've missed a bit. Uh, it's it's basically because... Oh, it's raining. Thank God. Uh, it's basically because we're getting so much farther into the mine. That's why it looks like this. Gum pack, $2. You see, yeah, gum, two pounds a pack. I mean, that... that You know. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Why is the little... Oh, wait. I thought that was the little chicken. That's the egg. The little chicken's inside. You need some uh, CBD tin tincture. That stuff helps people sleep. I, I do need something. I need, I need something to help me sleep. Anything that I've ever struggled with in my entire life growing up, even in my teenage years, has always been sleep. Making homemade butter cookies. They would They would go great with that coffee. That sounds so good. Homemade butter cookies. Most people would go into the store while they wait and spend their money. Would they, though? You think they would? Like, if I were, like, going to the gas station, I probably wouldn't. If I had to get out of the car, I'd be like, fine, I'll go. Like, if, okay, so, for instance, if you drove up, if I drove up with Danielle to the gas station, and the guy was just sitting there, he's like, let's go, let's go. I'm like, all right, let's go, do it. You know, if I had to, like, get out of the car, then she'd be like, oh, when you get out of the car, can you get me a drink? I'm like, all right, since I'm out of the car, right? But if I'm not out of the car, right? <laughs> I don't know. Since we're already in the car and I don't have to take my seatbelt off, you know what I mean? Let me sell you some flowers. Um, yeah. Tulips, baby. Marigolds, I think we still need for some ingredients. So I'm going to hold on to seven of them. Sunflowers, I don't think we need, but I will hold on to seven of them as well for now. And that's the direction we'll go. I'll hold on to the turtle heads too. 526. We could kind of just bust it out real quick. Yeah, let's go and bust it out real quick. Let's go bust out this last mine shaft or like like last mine level for the uh, for the uh, the notes, baby, the notes, the artifacts. The credit slash debit card nowadays, it'd be more tempted to go in and get a snack from gas stations because if there's someone, we're pumping my gas. Uh, and that you know, in to kind of bounce off of that idea too is, it depends on where you go gas station wise too. Some places don't take credit cards. Some places don't. Uh, some places don't take credit cards. Some places charge you thirty-five cents to use a debit card. You know, it goes thirty-five cents on top of your 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 total of of gas. So again, that all depends on where you go as well. I do need to make a freeze time. I think. I don't think I have another one on me. I don't. So, like, paying in cash can be the cheaper option as well, too. So, getting out. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Do you give the uh, do you give the, the gas station teller? Do you give them... I need paper. Gosh darn it. Do you give them the cash or your card? I can't remember. It's been a while since I've been to Oregon. There's not, like, a reason for me to go to Oregon, ever. <laughs> No, no disrespect to the people that live in Oregon. Oh, you need honeycombs to make freeze time. I see. All 
how gas prices are low because Miami is a major por fuel port. Yeah, and that's and that's exactly. It doesn't cost a lot. It doesn't cost a lot to get gas to where you are located. You know, it doesn't. It doesn't take a lot of effort. You know, uh, Louisiana, right there, like right off into the uh, into the ocean. You know, you think about, you know, all those oil rigs out there. Which, by the way, anybody that's ever worked on an oil rig, that's like I'm not saying that I have, obviously, but the people that do, that's. You get paid a lot of money for that, but that's such a, a hard labor job. That's a, such a dangerous job, too. Noodles are always needed. <laughs> we have the we have the highest gas tax in the entire country, though. And that hurts. It does hurt. They say it's supposed to go towards like roads and things like that, but our roads are pretty damn awful. <laughs> in my state, I see. Uh, I in my state, I see most uh, most of the game uh, games th gas station owners use car like Porsches or BMWs. My friend is a ga is a gas owner and he makes around four to five figures a month. Yeah, I, even people that make like that own gas stations, uh, gas stations are not going at a at a style, right? <laughs> at least not in the next ten to fifteen years. Maybe ten years, depending on where you live, California. Maybe I don't know. I don't know where the gas station industry is gonna go in the next ten years here in California. Just because like they expect us to have electric cars or are they banning uh, gas uh, gas fuel cars in 2035 so that's about 10 years I don't know what's gonna happen to gas stations then I, I I'm really not sure it will probably be like 20 30 maybe 40 years before all of the gas uh, gas powered vehicles will be off the road in California I don't know I would say like maybe 40 years or so. Are we going to be around for another 40 years to, to, to witness that? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Hey, Tiger. How you doing? It's up to the gas station to figure out how to capitalize on that. Having some kind of ordering system and running to deliver the order wouldn't be hard. Yeah. Well, yeah. And um, you think of like... Uh, like... Uh, negotiations too something we don't really like know about if they can uh negotiate a some kind of price with some kind of company with whether it be a, a food company a drink company a gas an oil company you know there's all those little tiny details that we don't know about either but gas stations are not going out of style petro state petrol stations uh for my friends that live uh overseas petrol stations right you guys call them petrol stations petrol st stations uh, they're not going out of style anytime soon where i live in texas i'm pretty much need exact change or use your card so i always use the card wait a sec you have to use exact change what do you mean by that what, what do you mean by that This freeze time thing is so good. I'm working with the mind keys first. I'm trying to find the keys. Hey, Leanne, good morning. Oh, the coin shortage. Is that why they're, they're being so exact change on it? I mean, we have people that say, uh, give us give us um like please don't use like our 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 stores here they say like please don't use um please give us coins we're in we're in need of coins right but anytime i worked in the coin shortage time like in retail because it i think it's been going on more than two years we never had a shortage <laughs> I think the coin shortage thing has been going on for at least five years. 
maybe even more than that. I think back when I used to work at Radio Shack, they were still uh, prompting coin shortage then. I don't know what the heck's going on with that. If we're talking about tax, the turnpikes are getting outrageous. Turnpikes. Turnpikes. What is is a turnpike? Is that like a uh is that a bend in a in a in a in a motorway or a highway or a freeway? The coin shortage was related to the COVID restrictions. I don't know. I don't believe that. Hey, this looks like a key to the next level. Which would have made it more difficult to get change from the banks, that is. I don't believe that. I feel like the coin shortage was way going at least where I live, it has always been going on forever. Alright, here we go. Paid toll road. Oh, okay, so that is that what a turnpike is? Paid toll road? Uh we call it something different over here then. <laughs> at least where where we live, we we just call them uh <laughs> yeah, uh toll booths. <laughs> I thought a turnpike was like a freaking uh, a bend in the road or something. Mm. Oh, I don't have the two. So there's one right there. Two right there. So there's two in here. Two chests I need to open. I think it costs like... I think it costs like three or... Between three to five dollars to like cross the Bay Bridge in San Francisco. Just one time. Like, yeah. Like, if you're going into San Francisco, I think it's like 3 to $5. Could be more now, since the last time I've been. Which was maybe a year or two ago. <clears throat> I think the coin shortage thing is that business owners, managers don't want to go to the bank and get coins for the day that they need, aka laziness. I could see that if there's some kind of conspiracy, <laughs> some kind of coin conspiracy, I could see that because when I worked at Radio Shack, that was one thing my boss hated the most. We would run out of change. Somebody would drop some big dollar bills, right? And he'd be like, oh my God, I got to go get, whether it be like dollar bills or like uh, coins, right? Oh my God, I got to go to the bank and get this, you know? It's like, oh my God, you have a salary. I'm sorry, you know? I think that that that's a good that's that's a good uh, good good shout. <laughs> it wasn't even like a stand like it was like a it was a it was a salary he sat on because uh, he worked I think he worked for Radio Shack since like the eighties and he was grandfathered into a lot of policies and a lot of uh, a lot of um what what do you call them in a, in a, in a salary um, incentives and things like that so he was sitting on a very comfy. Uh, like damn near a hundred thousand um, dollar salary at, for a manager at Radio Shack, which is probably the reason the why Radio Shack went out of business because they were paying their managers so so much, so much, and like they would complain, "Oh my God, I gotta go to the bank," and then they would send their employees like me, who get paid, uh, you know, nine dollars an hour at the time. Uh, can you go to the bank and make a bank deposit for me? Oh, and also, can you, like, go get change from the bank, too, for me? Oh, and by the way, can you get a, a red light ticket on the way coming back from the bank? Oh, dude, that, yeah, that's a true story right there. Oops. I was in a rush to get back to, uh, I was in a rush to get back to work because, uh, I didn't want to be late because I didn't want to be late for my lunch. Or, sorry, I didn't want to be I had to go, I went to the bank to get change because that's what the boss told me to do, which I know. And, and looking back at it, I would have never done that nowadays. But, you know, back then I, would, I didn't know better. Um, I went to the bank on my lunch break is what I did to go get change for the store. And I was in a hurry to get back to the store because I didn't want to, like, you know, lose my time. I didn't want to be on my lunch break longer than I needed to be. When that happened... I got flashed by a red light camera, and uh, after that, I was pissed. I was like, I'm never doing this again. This is bad. 
Oh, and then, you know, back in 20, when was it? 20, uh, 2014 or something like that, I think. Almost 10 years ago. The freaking red light ticket's like 600 and some dollars. I cannot see. And then after you pay like the 600 and some dollars, then you uh, have to pay for like $250 for driving school again. Scam, dude. Dad, if I make it out alive, I'm never coming back in this mine again. The keys to the lower levels keep going missing, one by one. I was on level four, and the door slammed, and I heard the most awful shriek you can ever imagine. The boys and I talked it over, and we decided we're quitting soon as you get this week's pay. I'll see you soon. Your son, Eddie. Well, we got all that. Forgive us. That's good. Get the other chest, please. What's inside? I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. Baklava. I would love to try this. Absolutely. New items can now be crafted. Fermentation uh, barrel. Kim, 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 kimchi? Kimchi? And sauerkraut. The coin shortage has been going on for many, many years. I know, right? That's, that's, at least, I depending, I guess, where you live. But at least for me, man, it, it's been going on for like, Pushing 10 years, you know, I don't know. Was there a coin shortage back in the 90s? Does anybody can anybody recall that? Anybody recall a coin shortage popping up somewhere in the 90s? I wonder if we'll end up using a currency similar to what they use in cyberpunk the euro dollars First of all, that would be kind of crazy second of all today. I saw that they announced that uh, They are making another cyberpunk game. I don't know if you guys saw that on Twitter but they are going to be continuing with another cyberpunk game in the future, which I'm kind of excited about. I wonder what it would have been like to have been one of these miners. Francis came round to invite me to the wedding. Isn't that the nicest thing? I've only just moved in. And you know the best thing about attending this wedding? I won't have a hundred aunties asking me when I'm going to be next. <laughs> I feel you, girl. You're gonna be next, though. Can I give you some, uh, fish fingers? <laughs> hey, Serendipity, how you doing? Well, that's good. We got that done. So now we just need to ask, uh, if, see if anyone can shed light on the mine's history, which shouldn't be too bad. We have nine days left until the election. We are still making these spirits, uh, down below. Potions, whatever you want to call them. Our turn bike is an expressway that you have to pay to use. That's insane. That's insane. I forgot what country it was. Was it Sweden? Is it like Sweden? Switzerland? Norway? One of those one of those countries have like one of the strictest um speed limit uh speed limit enforcements ever. Like if you go over the speed limit and they track the entire highway, like they will pounce on you. And what they will do mm, I'm sleepy. is they will they will find you that you broke, you know, you broke the law. They will go into your tax your your tax information and they will charge you a fine based off of a percentage of your taxes and how much money you make. Isn't that crazy? That would definitely make no somebody not go over the speed limit. I forgot what country does that. It's one of those three countries that do it. But my God, could you imagine? The time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make me fast. Imagine, you know, when you filed your taxes. Imagine them saying, "Okay, you went ten miles an hour over the speed limit. We're gonna fine you ten percent of what you made last year." <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> That's insane. Oh, it rained. That's right. We don't need to water these. We have the marigolds, though. I literally got my first manage management job because the manager refused to stock the safe, so we just promoted me to assistant because I was good at math. See? Jamal Woody. Jamal says, big fan. Was wondering if you're going to do more Grass Shop 3. Uh, thank you. 
Um, they got a cyberpunk show coming to Netflix. I think the cyberpunk show is already on Netflix. Um, but yeah, thank hello, Jamal. First of all, how you doing? Second of all, probably will not bring uh, Grass Shop Simulator or Grass Shop 3 uh, back to the channel. I've had too many issues with that series. I've been uh, yelled at by YouTube too many times and it's just too much of a hassle for me. And it's very unfortunate that YouTube has to like deem it inappropriate, but it is what it is. And I have to follow suit, unfortunately. So I probably won't just because of the pure hassle it has, uh, it has given me. And it, that still continues to give me now. Sometimes I'll get um, uh, yelled at. And as far as like age restriction, these videos are now age restricted. Or these videos are now demonetized out of the blue. Even though they've been posted for months now. It's very unfortunate. Their botched, uh, botched launch completely turned me off from Cyberpunk. I have zero d desire to play it. Oh, dude. I, I hate I hate for you to say that there. I do. I do hate for you to say that. But I'm actually currently in my spare time. I'm actually replaying through it again for my second time. I like it that much. Um, but what happened was last week or two weeks ago, uh, Cyberpunk was the most played game ever, I think. As far as like they it had more more players played since uh well more than the witcher 3 had ever which is kind of insane but i do suspect it had to do with the netflix series the anime series edge runners i know i know how you feel on that though i do know how you feel the botched uh, uh launch but the game i think is in a pretty good state now and if you were even remotely close and you like RPG games, and you like games that are super into depth like that, I, I would I would at least give it a shot, you know? That's just my two cents, though. I think it's pretty fun. I'm, I, like I said, my second time playing through it, I'm having a good time again. I hadn't played it since it first launched, and when it first launched, I never had any problems. I never had any bugs or anything like that, so I actually, when the game launched for the first time, I played through the entire game and didn't have any troubles i know like a lot of people had troubles but i didn't and so um this is my you know a couple years later second time going through it i'm having a good time in india we just give a dollar to the cop and he will let us go that's basically mexico too i had a friend that did the same exact thing uh, my friend's, uh, a friend's, uh, husband, I guess ex-husband, but, uh, he was in a very similar situation like that. That's better than figuring, finding, uh, finding you 20% of what you make simply, simply having a job. That's crazy, dude. Nobody would ever break the law. Nobody would ever go fast if that was the case. I haven't watched Cyberpunk's Edge Runners anime yet. I am kind of interested in it. Let's go see if anybody knows anything about these mines passages. I wonder if people in Ravenwood might know. Possibly, right? Hello, Kim. I like the direction Francis and Angus are going for their wedding. No religious ceremony, no hosting family from out of town, no twee flower arrangements wrapped in twine or whatever. Just the important stuff. I would probably be playing Cyberpunk right now if I had two good eyes. When you do have two good eyes, definitely give it a shot. And am I playing on Xbox or PC? I am playing on uh, PC, but I wanted, I almost bought the game twice. I almost bought it twice. Uh, to buy it on xbox to just play casually in the living room and stuff like that but yeah i bought it i bought that was a game i actually bought on release day a couple years ago i've always had a bit of an aversion to marriage if i'm honest probably because all of my cousins let themselves be set up by the most famous matchmaker in mumbai to be fair they all seem pretty happy but that just wasn't for me hey twiz how you doing 
Marty asked me if I wanted to join the party, and I was like, party? Yeah, dude, that sounds cool. But he meant the Marty party, which is not as cool. You caved in and finally bought it, haven't played it yet? I, I, I like it, I like it. I I don't know, I, I'm... I'm it like RPG games. I'm just I, I really like RPG games and that one really does hit the spot for me. Is it my favorite RPG? No, it's not my favorite RPG, but it's not, you know, a lot of people give it a lot of crap, but I think technically, like uh like the technical aspects of it are very complicated, you know, and they try to pull it off very well, you know. The Book of the Mind includes a beautiful marriage ceremony. I was hoping to perform it for the first time this fall. But I guess Angus couldn't convince Francis to let me officiate. He couldn't even convince Francis not to have their wedding in the woods. Don't officiate, Cameron. That would be the... That would be... No. <laughs> yeah, you can't officiate that. I told Francis that he and Angus should just elope like Parker and me. Wait, you eloped? My mom insisted we get married here, but Parker's mom wanted us to get married in the city. A courthouse wedding meant both mothers were equally furious, at least for a little bit. I played Cyberpunk when it first came out, even with the bugs. I still loved it working on a third playthrough now because of all the updates. Yeah, and even like the updates now going along with it, too. Um, you know, that that even, you know, gives it even more a little bit of spice and flavor to it. Absolutely. <clears throat> oh, Francis. In case you didn't know, you you can unlock the broom in Ravenwood. I figured it out this way too late in my game. Good shout. And Adam Adam Adamality. Alamility. F B. Adam. Adam. Adam Adam Lee. Adam Adam. We'll stick with Adam. <laughs> Hi Francis. Ooh, what you working on? Can you keep a secret? I'm making Angus a pair of pearl cufflinks for our wedding. Only problem is my pearl source is on vacation. And I've only found one on the beach so far. If you could help me find another one, I would be so grateful. Ooh, I got one right here. Of course I'll try to help. I'll keep my eye out. Thanks. I really want to make him something special. I got pearls for you. Some pearl thick cufflings. Any luck finding a pearl yet? I did. Here you go. Wow, what? A beauty. Thanks so much. This is a perfect match for my other one. Oh, I hope he likes them. 115. You still gave me money for that. Interesting. Progressing more, shall we? Hello, soft. Auto soft. I'm about to turn you into a chicken, dude. You don't even know what's coming your way. Aurora, hey Aurora, finally caught a live stream. I've only watched your wildflower videos so far, but can't wait to start your other series. Oh, well, shout out to you, Aurora. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you for giving me a chance, too, and uh, checking out more content by me. I appreciate that as well. Thank you for that. Yeah, this game is uh, on Nintendo Switch there, Caitlin. As well, yes. It's on Steam and Nintendo Switch. Ooh, what is that? A forget-me-not. Mmm. A forget-me-not flower. I bought Elden Ring twice with Manic on Petazone. <laughs> uh, 210 hours into Elden Ring on Xbox and still not finished with the first playthrough. That oh, dude, I got something to tell you, Darren, about the Elden Ring. I saw on Twitter that there was a streamer, uh, she, yeah, she, a streamer, she, I, and I don't know how big of a deal it is. It's probably a very big deal. She fought and beat the first boss on a dance pad she did it live i think in her stream so like mrs soft is having us do a project on the election and i'm supposed to interview people about who they're voting for and i'm sure she's totally not just using teenagers in her class to conduct her own personal polls or anything she anyway, could do you know who you want to vote for mayor soft or marty emerson uh, I would rather say not, yes. I would rather not tell this child my potential political views. <laughs> I think I'll keep it to myself for now. Fair enough. But, like, you can tell me and I just won't write it down if you want. No, 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 no. We won't do that. 
What game is better, this game or Hoko Life? Um, it depends. They're they're pretty different games. Uh, they're they're not the same, you know. I can make my pumpkin pie now too. Um, they're they're just different. Yeah, they're different. You can't really compare this one to Hoko Life. I don't think. I don't think that's a fair comparison. Because if I, if I had to compare like my experiences with Hoko Life and Wildflowers. I would right off the bat say Wildflowers is probably better, but that doesn't that doesn't that's not fair to Hoko Life because they're just two different kind of games. Yeah, I need to get the pie going. Get the pumpkin pie rolling. Okay, so pumpkin pie. Oh my god, looks damn good. Damn good. Okay, so pumpkin pie made, right? So how do I make this uh do I go downstairs for it? Yeah. Is it a potion thing? Yes, it's a potion thing. I need essence of silver now. Essence of silver. Essence of silver. How long will that take? Eight hours, so by the morning I'll get the pumpkin pie done. Very well. I guess I can have a couple of beer too. Since I'm about to go to bed. So she just chugged three things of beer. Good for her. There we go. There we go. There's no way Cyberpunk is anywhere near as trash as Saints Row. I no, it's not. <laughs> it absolutely isn't. Uh, no, I trust me. I played 40, 30 minutes, 45 minutes of Saints Row and I had to like kick my own ass. Hey, Sai, how you doing? Uh, we'll be lurking today. Oh, we got a recipe. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good day too, Sai. I've always wanted to play a non-dance game with a dance pad. Dude, she did it, dude. She beat the first boss on a dance pad. It was like a big thing. Oh, I forgot her name, though. Recipe? Hang on. This, this is a fish. Rumbled. What the heck was that? Recipe. Rumbled. Rumbled them. Rumble thumps. Rumble thumps. Rumble, rumble the thumps, rumble the thumps. I do not know what that is. I do not know what that is. Oko life is too difficult for the average person. That's not a, not a, the green graphical design. Not really, but it does get ridiculous difficult for some folks. Is that right? Does it get more, even more difficult? Yeah. Hey, serendipity for three months. Oh my God. Three months, serendipity. My God, has it already been three months? Incredible, incredible, incredible. Thank you so much for the three months. Oh, a pistachio. Uh, thank you very much for that, serendipity. Thank you for the three months of support. Appreciate that. And a tip for good measure, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you're doing good. Am I going to make another live on Hoko? I haven't decided yet. Um, I was saying that, uh, you know, that would have probably been my last bit of hoko but i you know i don't know i'll, I'll have to relook at it and see how it is um the thing about hoko life is that i feel like the time in that game is so it, it's not done correctly the time like the actual time like how fast time goes because when you're done with your quest or you're done with this or that, I feel like you're going to bed at like 11 a.m. sometimes. You know what I mean? Is that just me? Or is it because I just don't have enough to do yet? How many games do you own on your PC? Oh, that's a that's a great question. Um, uh... <laughs> I think I, I I think I did this I think I answered this not answered this question but I think I mentioned this to Jefferson one time. I think I have like maybe three to four hundred games on my Steam library. Yeah, about three to four hundred games possibly, but um, most of those games are like indie games. First of all, those are most of the games. They're all indie games, and most of them, if not half of them. If not even, maybe even more than half of them usually are given to me by the publishers and the dev developers. I've been given games, I've been given games where I've just never played them. And I've been given games where um, I've never showcased them on, uh, on stream. 
it's more or less just people just wanting to give you a game just so you can have it and maybe give it a shot. Wildflower is also available on... Yeah, also, yeah. Also, Apple Arcade, too, if anybody has Apple Arcade. Oranges? Our first ever pomegranates are coming in, too. Hey-o! Glad to have found this wonderful community. Wishing everyone an amazing day. Oh, very good. Okay, so that's what you, that's what that's what it said. Very good, serendipity. We appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Tara sound tipsy when she pulled the recipe. I like Saints Row. Uh, I like Saints Row the Third Remaster. I'm interested to see what the new Saints Row is like. First of all, if you like Saints Row 3rd, the remastered, that's a good Saints Row. That's a great Saints Row. Very good Saints Row. Um, but the new Saints Row is 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 not good. <laughs> I think Jefferson 100%ed it. Yeah, I think he 100%ed it. I haven't watched his uh, Saints Row video yet, where it's like 90%... A 90% covered by a... Or 100% run covered by a 90% paywall or something. On those lines. Uh, well, you won't play anything there. <laughs> you said serendipity? And my iPad Siri woke up? <laughs> Hey, Tess, Wes, how you doing? Oh, look, it's a different colored chicken. Very cool. I have three to four times as many games. Yeah, I, you have like in the thousands. That's where you're at. You have into the thousands. No, no, don't run away from me. Stop running. La Layla. Layla, don't run away from me. How dare you? <clears throat> My outside drain is definitely overflowed now, now that the morning rain is here again. Holy God, that's a lot of games. Do you play any for personal use or are they all for potential videos? Um, If I were to say which, vi which how many games I have for personal use... I would probably say maybe 30 of those games are for personal use. It's a very, very low number amount that I have for personal use. Yeah. Only because it's just hard to find time sometimes for me to do it. To play games for my personal use. But now that I've kind of switched my schedule a little bit, right? With the whole recording and the streaming thing. Um, it's kind of put me at ease a little bit. Sorry, this is not where I wanted to be. I wanted to be in here, huh? F. Uh, can I cancel that? Stop crafting. Do I get those things back? I do. Because I want to make the pumpkin pie. There we go. Um, now that I've changed my format a little bit here on the channel, it's giving me more time also in the evening so that I can uh, enjoy a game or two on my personal free time. So that's why I've started up Cyberpunk recently again. Um, because I don't... You know, I, I don't know. I don't think I've really put in a lot of personal time into a video game since Cyberpunk did release. So it's nice. It is nice. It's a nice change of pace. Have you seen Let's Build a Zoo? I was thinking about grabbing that game on the Switch. I have. I actually have a video of Let's Build a Zoo. Uh, but it was like the early access, I think, of it. So I don't think I gave it a full fair shot. There was a lot of bugs in it at the time. But I think it's been a while. Like, it's been like over a year since I played it, I believe. I do have a video of it or two on here on the channel. Um, but I think it's a cool concept with like splicing animals and things like that. Splicing animal DNA. I think, right? I think that's the same game I'm, I'm thinking of. So... Uh, I haven't seen it since it came to like different platforms and things like that. I haven't seen it since. How many days left? Seven days left? 
The creature described it. Ah, oh, Ravenwood. Yeah, let's go to Ravenwood. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go to Ravenwood. Saints Row 3 Remastered was amazing. I played 100% of Saints Row 2022, and it's terrible all the way through. <laughs> Literally nothing left for me to do in that game. I'm in love with Hoko Life. It is so slow starting, but if you get past the tutorial phase, you're good. What is considered the tutorial phase in that game? I am interested. So that maybe I know. Or so that maybe I can help myself, uh, you know, talk myself back into that game, potentially. You said a while back that you had something to tell me about the gloaming? Yes. The wellspring that you witches balance, it exists in the Fey world. The human world is not itself magical. But magic bubbles up from elsewhere. That's the gloaming. At its heart is the wellspring. Oh, but I still have so many questions. Uh, you will have to ask them later. I am a busy fairy. Fair enough. Crystal ball potion or rose water? Rose water is actually used for something. You're going to cover Coral Island, right? Yeah, I am. I am going to be covering Coral Island on day one, if not earlier. If I can, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get it earlier. But day one, at least you can expect Coral Island. What is that next week? Hey, that is next Tuesday. Holy shit. So next Tuesday, you can expect that. Ne that's seven days, right? Oh, my God. That's in seven days. Ariel, I need to ask you something about the mines. Ah, an exquisite habitat. What do you wish to know? Are you the one who drove it out of business? <laughs> Uh, at last, someone figures it out. Yes. And did you hide all the keys, too? <laughs> Most certainly. But I just... Why? The humans were making far too much noise. And the oars. They took and took. It hurt the animals that make the cave their home. The keys were a prank. A vicious one, true. But it worked. They lost their jobs or you saved a lot of animals. I mean, come on. Saved a lot of animals, right? A lot oh, of people I... worked in those mines. They had to leave once their jobs disappeared. That's not what I wanted to click. Work, labor, blah. That's all humans talk about. Perhaps if they didn't salivate over jobs, they would have left the caves untouched. I can't tell Giva what actually caused the mines to close. That is true. You do not want to incur the coven's wrath. Hey, Natalie. I can tell you. How you doing, Natalie? Good to see you. Uh, yeah, there, there's also issue playing games off stream. The one thing that had been one of the hardest things to uh, we got to tell Giva. One of the hardest things we have to be, I had to like adjust to myself is that the way I run my channel is I like to play games on a full reaction, and I think a lot of people like that too. Um, I think a lot of people really like. Oh yeah, I like to know what his reaction is to this cutscene, this game, or this or that or that or this. So I have been, I have multiple times bought in games, bought in I know is not really a word, but I've bought games in the past and never played them. Is it, uh, it is a recipe. Now, I'll tell you why. Caramel popcorn, that's sick as hell. Um, because there was always a chance that, oh, you know what? This would actually be really good to maybe bring to the channel one day. And I don't want to play it. Unless, you know, there's a chance that I can bring it to the channel. So, I have, you know, saving my reaction. Because if I played through a game and been like, oh, yeah, you know, I know everything about this. That's not fun. It's not fun for someone to watch and be like, oh, he already knows everything about this game. Maybe it is for some people. But at least to me, you know, I like watching people who, who give genuine reactions to what's going on in the game. So, there's always that battle within myself where I have to, like, think you know what, if this has a chance to be on the channel, I shouldn't play this offline type thing. I need to do getting the past the tutorial is the hardest part for it, for the Hoko life. Hey, yo. Oh, come in, come in, Tara. Care for a muffin? Oh, I'm celebrating. I've just finished analyzing my first set of barometric readings. They suggest there's some sort of pressure barrier around the island. There really is something odd happening here. Tell me, have you noticed anything dodgy about the weather since you've arrived? 
Uh, I hate to lie to her. Um, I've noticed nothing. Uh, that is definitely lying to her. All weather is strange. That's a very passive thing to say. Well, yes, but global warming is causing strange weather everywhere, right? Not exactly what I was Not thinking. like this. I've never seen anything like this pattern before. I have to get to the bottom of this. What was grad school for otherwise? But sometimes I wasn't certain I'd make it. But now, here I am, in my own weather observatory. Oh, listen to me, Ramble. You're very kind, Tara. Come back anytime. <laughs> I love Giva. I have backed Coral Island since the start, despite the fact that my laptop can't handle that game. I don't know when I'll be able to play it. Hopefully the way they do Coral Island, as I really hope they do, um, they do what kind of Stardew Valley is, you know, start it out on PC, bring it over to console or something like that. Handheld, whatever it might be, right? I think I uncovered what happened in the mines. Who? Tell me, tell me. It was, uh, how do I put this? Uh, a kind of corporate sabotage. I would have never guessed that. By whom? It's a mystery. We'll just say it's but a mystery. It's definitely intentional. Mm. Well, the best mysteries have an unsolvable element, right? Something for the reader to guess at. She's so motivated. That way, because I don't think you'll be figuring this one out. Well, in any case, we both learned so much from your adventures. Thank you, Tara. Anytime. $250 for that? All right, cool. We have a thousand all together. Let's actually talk to her and like tell her hello. Marty hiked all the way up here to drop off a flyer for his election bid. I didn't have the heart to tell him he'd need to bothered. Otto hasn't come round at all, of course. Mm, have you thought about playing Grounded since its full release and have you heard about Small Land? Small land, I have, n I, I, at least from the name of it, I might know what it is if I saw pictures of it, but for just hearing the name, it doesn't ring a bell at this moment. Uh, grounded, um, no, I haven't really thought about bringing Grounded, even though some people do enjoy Grounded. Um, I think everybody right now is playing Grounded, honestly. I think there's a lot of people playing Grounded as it is right now, but... There always has been that thing where I know people are, they, there's there's a lot of people out there that have, and not a lot of people realize it, but there's a lot of people out there that have like phobia of insects and, and, and things like that. And that one can definitely trigger. Like, okay, if you see a roach in a game, you know, if you see a spider walking across the grass here, it's not a big deal. But the fact that we have giant spiders in your freaking face in that game, that could really trigger somebody, someone. So I don't know if I if I would even want to even try to potentially put someone in a very uncomfortable state that way either. Like, okay, Dinkum. Spiders crawling around the desert. Like, it's not the part of the gameplay, right? I mean, it's a, you know, you, you catch it, it's so, so be it, right? But it's not like the core gameplay giant ass bugs running jumping and coming at you that that's that that's a core gameplay right there <laughs> yeah and you know it's not like it's not like um and let me let me kind of like reverb it here a, a bit here. Let me let me kind of backtrack a little bit on what I was what I, what I'm trying to explain is that um, some channels that do make that content like make grounded. Th there's no 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 big deal. Uh, they want to play it. They can play it. They can show it. I just know personally because I know how I know certain people in the community. They are afraid of like spiders and their you know and, and things like that. And I know some people. And I'm not going to say who the people are. Right? I'm not going to be outcasting them, of course. But I know, uh, just through talks and then mentioning it through the months and months, like, I know they would not have a very comfortable experience. Um, so I can't, you know, with the, the with the amount of people that I know now that have really bad phobias to that, that kind of thing, especially when we play Dinkum a little bit, people have that little bit of phobia, even like phobias with birds and things like that. Um, I can't imagine there, I can actually, I can imagine that there is a lot of people that just haven't voiced their opinion on that either. 
you know. So, I mean, there's a lot of other games that I could just pivot to anyways. The debate's coming up. Are you uh, almost done with that brew? I have it right here. Pumpkin pie, chicken, give it. Hazel would be so proud of you. She'd be so proud that I'm going to turn someone into a chicken. All right with this? Oh, yeah. When I was a kid, she gave the fairy Captain Bunny ears for a month because he was rude to Mama. Keep your eyes on Otto during the debate. Hey, what do we get? Miracle Grow? Sick. Revenge is sweet. Hey, Lisa. Lisa says, my other half quit 10 minutes into grounded due to the spider. <laughs> he ran it too. See? <laughs> Will we be seeing your familiar at the Coven Circle anytime soon? Nah, he's a beaver, so he doesn't come around here. But if you see any dams, make sure you shout, Good job, buddy! Through the controller and said, Nope, not for me. <laughs> now imagine that, like, in a movie sensor, like a video sensor, whatever it might be, right? Okay, we need three more still. Three more left. Three more left. Three more potions left, and we're good to go. Oh, really? Grounded added in... Uh, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that. Uh, Arcanophobia, which is a spider one, right? Setting since I last played. I haven't tried it yet, but there it is. So what does that do? Does it like, change the, the, the skin of the spider to something else? That's interesting. By the way, hello, Junebug. How are you? Good to see you. I watched a few Grounded streams at first. I was really freaked out by those big bugs. It's one of those things, right? It's one of those things like, I don't know, the way people, like, I, I like to run the channel in, in a sense in a personable manner, which most people that have been around the channel for a while know. I run my channel in a personable manner. And so I think knowing your community, knowing your people, knowing the people that watch you and, 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 and that is super important. Right? I think content creators forget that uh, numbers are, the numbers that they do end up getting on their videos, their streams, or whatever it might be. Those numbers are actually human beings <laughs> that all have, you know, their own lives, correct? So learning uh, your viewer and learning your, your, your people, I think is very important. Don't run away from me, chicken. Let me just give you this. Hey, Melissa, how you doing? It says day six, but when I clicked on your video, it says day seven. I'm new. I've been watching all of the vi all of the videos of this. Well, hello, Melissa. It doesn't say that. Hang on a sec. Time out. I might have had a... Uh, uh, hang on a sec. Let me see here. Time out. Time out. Time out. Does it say day six? Let me see. Does it say day six? Oh, it does say day six. Okay, yeah, that's my bad. Yeah, it, it that's that's an, that's a that's a forehead moment. It is day seven, I think. I just did not switch the um the thumbnail. That's my bad. Good shout. Thank you for letting me know, though, Melissa. I'll have to change it after the stream. Okay, so the chickens have been fed. I think I need to water my crops though. Yeah. You saw it with the visual, without the visual spiders. Okay. I think it sucks. It was just weird shapes. Is that right? So they, I'll have to like look into that. I definitely have to look into that. I had no idea they had that kind of setting into it. I'll have to see what that looks like. I think I'm interested now. I'm intrigued to see what it looks like without like the main core of the game. <laughs> I mean, that's the, that's the whole point of the game is the big spiders, you know, the big bugs. Hey, Lala says, can't stay, but wanted to say hey, and I've been enjoying the series and other streams. Thanks for all the content. Well, appreciate that, Lala. Layla, Lala, probably Lala. Um, appreciate that. Thank you very much. It says day seven to you. Yeah, yeah, the, the, I think the title says day seven, but the thumbnail says day six. I think I forgot to uh, change the thumbnail. As much as I would love to see you play Grounded, I appreciate way more that you care. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, Cloudy. Yeah, you know, and I don't know, like, 
probably in that game anyways you're probably gonna see me like squeal like a you know what <laughs> so i mean that's probably not even fun to watch anyways Let's see if these are done yet we get our fourth one in it's a spider body with no legs that's is that all it is that's it a spider body with no legs I'm missing a hedgehog grass? I shouldn't. I should have. Oh, I need a uh, powder calcium. Go for it, girl. There we go. We're almost done with that, too. When is the next MMM, by the way? I think I'm going to... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the next MMM. I've, I'm actually thinking about it. It might be October 20th. Don't quote me, but I'm, I'm shooting for October 20th. Why? Because I think that is when the new uh, Jackbox is released. So maybe for the MMM, we could do the brand new Jackbox 9 for our MMM. M, not MMM. MMM stream. I think that would be kind of cool and kind of fun. That's what I was thinking. It is nice to get a little bit of extra money out here, too. We can see what the brand new Jackbox... I believe that comes out on the 20th. In Jackbox 9? Yeah. No broom yet? I haven't really gone into uh, looking into that quite yet. I need to visit Ravenwood more often. Just finishing also. the meditation. And not that yuppie yoga rubbish, by the way. This is my... Mm, how to explain it? My Hindu version of reading the Book of the Mind that Cameron talks about. <laughs> oh! Oh, is this something that you learned back home from your parents? Sort of. We don't talk, my parents and I. Oh, it's fine. You couldn't have known. Um, what about your parents? Um... This is interesting. Hard to hard to explain Fairhaven problems with my dad or no problems. We'll just say no problems. I don't have any problems with my parents, to be honest. Maybe that's strange. No, it's lovely. I wish I could say the same. In my experience, it's only gotten harder and harder for my parents and me to relate as time goes on. I wonder if it will ever get any easier. In the meantime, I'm quite happy here on the island. Oh, very good. Very good. Very good. Very good, Giva. Romance with Cameron would look like a lot like my first marriage. Dull, boring, and controlling. Now I almost spit my coffee out when I saw that one. I really am enjoying the onsen. I know it wasn't built specially for me, but it's so secluded that it feels like it was. Isn't it a wonder that nature can provide a marvelous hot spring like that to bathe in? I think she likes Bob. Bob, hang on a sec. Does she, hang on a sec. Does she like uh, that recipe we got? No, I don't know what that last one is. I could use the crystal ball if I wanted to. I don't think we have chai. We do have pav bahi. Is that what it is? Pav bahi. That one's a very a very uh, hard one to to make though, as far as ingredients wise. Do you want to play a horror game through VR? It's very unsettling feeling. Um, when it comes to VR, I'm act I I do I am interested in VR. I've never have ever ever in my entire life have ever tried VR. Mostly because I'm kind of afraid I I'll get motion sickness, but I mean I'll do it because I I want to see if I do get motion sickness or not. I have bad vertigo as it is anyways, so I am interested, but um I just never had a desire to. And if I were to do VR. I don't know if I would do a horror VR. That would that would probably send me to my grave early. I might actually die. <laughs> Let's go see a uh, barn. Let's go see how much a barn would cost us. I mean, we could upgrade our axe right now if we really wanted to. Sai says, I'm sorry, what? I was lurking and heard sp spider body with no legs. What are you talking about? We're talking about, I guess, the new setting in the Grounded. 
Yeah, a grounded. I guess there's a new setting for that. Oh, today's Sunday. He's not going to be open, is he? He's not. He's going to be at the freaking church. I played a couple of the games from the Jackbox demo. They were fun. Or is there a demo for the new uh, Jackbox? Yeah. Francis, but a bit nervous for the wedding itself. Why are you nervous I for the wedding? Ex at a wedding, so weddings always make me think of her. That d does that happen a lot? You hear that in movies and shows and things like that. Do people really find their significant other at other people's weddings? Like, I know that's a very, like, vibrant, spicy time. But who's finding their 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 significant other at a wedding? Like, it'd be like, it'd be like the bridesmaid who is like, oh, my God, she's getting married. I'll find love one day. I'm kind of jealous, but I'm also happy for her. And then, like, the grooms, the groomsmen, right, are like, yo, dude, you should hook up with Jessica. Because Jessica, she just got out of a relationship and she's super sour. Like, is that the, the story of how they met? <laughs> I, I don't know. I do wish that we had candidates who were a little bit, well... What? To put it in mayor speak, more representative of our beautiful town's diversity. <laughs> I like watching people play horror games, but I don't like playing them myself. I played the Mortuary, Mortuary Assistant when it was a demo on the channel. By the way, if you want to see, like, if you want to see me play the Mortuary Assistant, you can look it up on the channel. I did play a demo of it. It was a let's look at it this year. Um, just just know it's not safe for work and just know there, there might be a curse word or two. Uh, that in Gravewood High. I played Gravewood High as well. Uh, that was another horror kind of... Not really a horror... Well, yeah, I guess it was a horror game. But there's been a couple scary games I've played on the channel. And my God, I die a little inside every time. <laughs> Angus said he wanted me to supply some edibles for his cake. And I was like, oh, it's going to be a party now. But he meant flowers. Edible flowers. <laughs> You've never been to a wedding. I think they're pretty fun. At least it depends on who you go with. If it's like... Some distance relative, maybe not. If it's like some mutual friend, 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 baby cousin, Mama Tracy, you know, probably not. Uh, you know, but like if it's your best friend's wedding, that's when it can be pretty fun. Marty asked me if I would build him a platform so he could give speeches in town square. But I know what would happen. Otto would want equal time. They'd be shouting back and forth every day right in front of my wife's store. And no matter who won, you know who would lose? This guy. I used to be a professional wedding photographer. In my experience, that isn't really that common. I didn't think so. Like, nobody says that or nobody does that, right? Hello. You look upset. Is something wrong? I lost my sheet music. It's a disaster. Francis asked me to play a song for his wedding, and I have to practice. Uh-oh. When was the last time you saw it? Uh, I practiced when I was babysitting the twins, um, after they'd gone to sleep. Maybe Emmy and Finn know something? If you see the sheet music, will you tell me? You better believe I will become the best sheet music detective. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, Emmy and Finn. All right. I just saw one of them walk by this way, right? Okay. So there's a, is there is there a time limited a demo for that? Okay. Very well. Very well. Mm -hmm. Hang on a sec. Ah, the flowers are already gone. How long do the flowers last? Ay, ay, ay. I just put the flowers in like the other day. There were sunflowers. All right, all right, very well. I'm looking for Emmy and Finn. I might they actually might be uh, in 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 their house right now because it is dark. I have to find them in the morning then. If I play horror VR and someone touches my back, that person would have bruise from all my panic, punching and cooking. <laughs> They used to have like these uh, haunted corn mazes where I lived. And back in the day, they don't do it anymore because of like legal reasons now. But back in the day, uh, they would have people like you would go through this corn maze, haunted corn maze. And they would have people hiding in the corn and they would come out and scare you. But not just scare you, they would grab you and touch you. 
This was back in the early 2000s. You can see where that's an issue nowadays, but yeah. It's the last one, I believe. The last potion there. You did not get that combo for the edible flowers, yeah? Oh, am I ready for bed? I love scaring my friends when we were watching horror, especially if they're playing a horror game. Hey, Shorty, how you doing? Crystal says, finish my first job, off to my next job. Oh, no. Morning, oh. Damon. What brings you by? The debate is today. Should oh. Believe what happened. Damon, what's wrong? I left the pie with a note for Otto from Vanessa earlier. But Otto left the pie on the table, and Cameron just ate it. That is so rude of him. Oh, uh, he's gonna pay for it pretty fast. We should uh, get going, so we don't miss any of the action. Uh, I wouldn't miss it. Pass the popcorn. <laughs> you sound like Violet. I think she's the only other person hoping Otto goes down in flames. Okay, lead the way. Thank you all for coming to our first... And last, mayoral debate. Mr. Emerson mayoral. and Mayor Soft have asked me to moderate. First question goes to Mayor Soft. <laughs> oh, uh, messenger? Goodness me. Um, sorry. Um, it's, um, allergies. Pumpkin pie. Happens to everyone, right? <clears throat> Uh, what do you plan to do about the scourge of malcontents plaguing our fair town? Uh-oh, here we go. Thank you for the very neutral and fair question, Messenger Connor. I plan to strengthen our community by growing our neighborhood watch program and implementing a strict curfew of 10 p.m. What? It will be easier to spot the unsavory characters when law-abiding citizens are safe at home. What? That will torpedo my business. If Facts. You, please hold audience questions until the end. It's a free town. <laughs> Damon's right. Um, I say Damon's right. By the way, hello, Shelly. How you doing? Damon's right. This will impact his bar unfairly. He can still be open for happy hour. As if there's anything happy about blowing your day's wages at the bar while your child waits at home. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor Soft. Now, on to a question for Marty Emerson. Mr. Emerson, as a noob to the town, how can you already more than the... Dude, this is Jimmy Neutron. Messenger, is this debate a joke to you? I'm feeling a bit, um, unwell. Yes, that's it. Let me um, try again. Mr. Emerson, as a new arrival to the town, how can you already claim to know what it needs more than the incumbent? Well, you're a new arrival, and you're the debate moderator. I... Uh, um... I'm just teasing you, Camp. You're doing a great job. Everyone in this town works really hard, and they deserve a mayor who works hard for them. Sure, we could maintain the status quo. But why not dream bigger? When I look at this town, I see so much potential. So typical. What's wrong with our town the way that it is? If you have a problem with it, move back to the city. Uh, again, if we could save questions until the end. New people should be heard. Thomas is right. Say nothing. Thomas is right. New people should be heard. That's kind of... Well, Marty's a new person. I was going to say Thomas is right. We the people. Thomas has a point. Things have worked well enough here. No need to rock the boat. What if you could upgrade that boat, neighbor? I've audited the town budget, and with some strategic investments, this place could come to life. I'm ready to take Fairhaven forward into the future. I hope you'll all join me. Thank you, Mr. Emerson. That concludes our mail. You know, considering I helped get your ranch restored, oh, God. I would have thought you might have some gratitude. Oh, I didn't realize I was supposed to pay that debt with loyalty. Oh, God. Oh, you're soft into paying debts now? That's news. No, I don't think that's fair. Everyone. Oh, Vanessa. <laughs> That is so funny. <laughs> what a hot mess. I agree. I'm worried. How will we meet if Otto really imposes a curfew? He'll never do it. Bruno doesn't even leave the bar before 10 most nights. I hope you're right. Also, 
What the heck was up with Cameron? I'm not at liberty to say. Let's just say he committed a major debate foul. Uh, <laughs> Bad. That's very interesting. Um, It almost feels like Marty is like too good to be true, right? Am I, am I the only one feeling that? But also, um, I love that little cheeky comment with the, uh, France is like, oh, so he's, he's, he's into paying debts, right? Because the mayor kind of owes a debt to Francis. And then Vanessa, the wife chimes in and says, that's not fair. I like the back and forth. It's pretty good. What do you think about the election? The debate got a little rowdy at the end, huh? You call that rowdy? Ah! You should see how our MPs go at it in Parliament. Your debate was rather civilized, I'd say. <laughs> hey, if there was no plates being thrown, I guess we're okay. Poor Cameron. I haven't been able to stop thinking about him. He must have been quite unwell at the debate. I might check on him later and see if he's feeling better. Don't talk to him. He wants you, Giva. Don't talk to him. I thought they were going to call security on my character during this thing. <laughs> What do you think about this, Kim? Some debate, eh? I guess so. I just think they both seem to be in it for themselves, honestly. But I guess we have to vote for one of them. <sighs> do we have to, though? Can we have, like, a collective, like, um, a society where we vote on policies together? Can we just do that? Like, why do we have to appoint a leader here? I... Am I going into a uh, into a bad discussion here? Uh, let's not let's not answer my question. How about that? <laughs> Every fall when it started getting cold, my mom and me would snuggle up under a blanket and watch old movies. Do you wish she was here? Kinda. I wish we could just chill and watch movies the way we did when I was little. But it's hard to do that when you didn't grow up to be the person she expected. Yo, me and my mom used to watch Weird Science. When I was a kid. Anybody know Weird Science? That's a good movie. That's a movie though that's like nowadays a little like edgy, but I like it. It is edgy. I, I rewatched it like maybe like a year or two ago and I'm like, whoa, they are saying and doing things in this movie that are kind of questionable now. So you're definitely gonna vote for Marty now, right? I might have a party in the bar to celebrate on election night. You should come by. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Donald didn't get his just desserts, but I'm not mad about the person who did. <laughs> Otto may have not made any chicken noises at the debate, but in my heart, he's always making chicken noises. <laughs> oh, Damon, that's beautiful. <laughs> what do you think about all this, Sophia? What did you think of the debate, Sophia? You know, I think Otto made some good points. Juliet likes to run around at all hours, and it's important to me that this town is safe. And uh, hey, if he imposes a curfew without me having to be the bad guy, all the better. Oh, yeah, because she's not part of it, of course. She's going to be on Otto's side, isn't she? Wouldn't it be lovely if you got married in Fairhaven, just like Angus and Francis? It would I be. Mean, Sure, but who would I even marry? Give a. I don't know, but say the word and I'll set you up with someone. Uh, can I say the word now? It is a funny movie. It's a pretty funny for the time, possibly a little problematic today. I know, like, that's the thing is, like, I looked into it. And I was like, I watched and I was like, wait a sec. They're saying things and they're doing things in this movie that is like, you know, like a grown woman is like doing stuff with teenage boys in high school <laughs> and that's what i was like wait a sec this is getting a little weird but of course she's not like supposed to be a real woman because she's supposed to be like created kind of like a frankenstein thing weird dude well after that debate parker's that's why it's weird science auto to volunteering and what do you think uh, i try not to get into it with him i'm not gonna change his mind very well we went to visit dad milkwater recently he couldn't remember my name, but he was so happy to see us. I'm going to count that as a success. Both are bad mayor wants to run the witches out. Uh, both are bad mayors wants to run the witches out. And Marty sounds like he will change a lot. It, it is true. It sounds like Marty will change a lot, but it seems like he's more of a progressive leader. I don't know. That's kind of what I'm picking up on. I'm 
guessing the debate didn't do much to change your vote, Thomas. You guessed right. Even if Marty stopped letting his animals out to graze on my crops, there's something about him that doesn't sit right. I don't trust him, and neither should you. Very well. So, Thomas, did you ever consider moving anyone into your farmhouse? What, like my sister? I asked Crystal if she'd move back, but... No, no. I mean, like, marriage. Oh, well, not yet, but I go on plenty of dates. That's a lie. Don't look at me like that. You're lying. There's like 11 teen people in this freaking village. You don't go on a lot of dates. Don't lie. Come on, Thomas. We know better. What are you doing? Oh, we need to go see Emmy. Emmy and Finn. They might be at school right now. Something's off with that dude. Much life in real life politics, we usually get two equally terrible choices. Yeah. <clears throat> usually, if it's like a two-party system that, that runs everything. Let's see here. Sorry to, like, interrupt class. But I need to talk to your students. They might have stolen or at least not stolen. Maybe just found a music sheet. What's black, white, and lets you play cool tunes? Piano? Uh, cheat music. Oh. Juliet's. Ring a bell? N no. Finn, be honest. I would he keep what? that a secret? I didn't take it. Emmy did. I don't even know how I know that. I didn't see her do it. And she'll be mad if she finds out I told. Oh, my don't God. Don't worry. He did the right thing. This is interesting because, like, I don't know. Do Why would he? Francis will wear dresses at their wedding. <laughs> I don't think so, but it would be fine if they did. Cool. Maybe I'll wear a wedding dress if I get married. Hemi says dresses are the worst, but I think they're fun. Very interesting. Okay. Okie dokie. Hey, Colin, how you doing? If I asked you about Juliet's cheat music, you would say. <laughs> what does that silence mean? Why do they want to keep I it so bad? To say. Are you sure it didn't mysteriously end up with your stuff? That's silly. Emmy. Silly. I might have to step up my game. Maybe the coven knows of a magic solution to my problem. Well, don't say that out loud. What are you doing? You don't just say that in the middle of class. Maybe the coven would help me. Uh, speak to the journeyman to see if he knows how to find lost or stolen objects. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Uh, wh what? Exactly. Mrs. Soft assigned us the Wizard of Oz for reading class. I bet you would be a good witch. And Mayor Soft is totally the wizard. <laughs> oh my lord. These conversations... Your sister seems to think Marty is a shoe in Well, she doesn't know Miss Soft like I do. I'm in her class every day. Trust me. She seems nice, but she doesn't play around. She has this way of getting people to do what she wants. And if she wants <laughs> him to win, he'll win. <sighs> Back to the grind. What? School? No, I'm learning how to grind down ramps on my skateboard. Ah. I keep rolling off the edge instead, though. I like Sebastian. What do you think about all this? So, did the debate move the needle? What? The poll numbers. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, still pretty close. <laughs> you haven't taken another poll, have you? Don't tell Mrs. Soft, okay? She's already on my case because of this math test she thinks I cheated on. This is kind of interesting. That I mean, the, it's, it's very interesting to know that the children have some sort of, like, opinion about elections i don't know when we were children we didn't really have you know even in school we didn't really talk about uh elections and things like that on a present level i mean there was a time when we in school watched the inauguration but that was the closest it ever got to so mayor otto is running against the new guy who always comes in here with chicken poop on his boots <laughs> some choice i liked it better when sebastian's dad was mayor Finn has the farseer energy. <laughs> I 
Do you think Vanessa could be the Raven? That's a good shout. Have you heard what some people are saying? My debate performance was an inspiration. I'm the leader this town needs. Oh, really? Which people are saying that? Some. Many. Almost all the people. A neighborhood watch is more important now than ever. Why, Vanessa brought me a piece of pie before the debate, and it disappeared before I could eat it. Hey, Diane. How you doing, Diane? One of the things that kind of always screwed with me is that I didn't like the fact that we had to watch 9-11 during school. Like, live. Like, in 2001, they put it on the TV for us. Like, why would you do that to us? You know? Tara, just the person I was hoping to see. Do you have milk and eggs to spare? Aren't those essential ingredients for bakers? Well, yes, but I wanted to make marmalade pudding for the rehearsal dinner, and it's best with fresh ingredients. Mmm, marmalade pudding. Sounds British. Uh, excuse you. It's a classic Scottish dessert. My gran taught me her own recipe. Help me out, and I'll make an extra pudding just for you. I would love to. Oh, crap. I would not love to. I don't have enough eggs yet, but don't worry about that, Angus. I will be sure to do this to you here soon. Uh, what do you think about the election? Hey, did the debate help you make up your mind about who to vote for, Angus? Maybe. Promise not to tell Francis? Sure. No, uh, oh, I can't say it. Well, but I guess I already gave it away. I hope he won't be too mad at me. Yeah, that, that's that's uh, that's true. That's very true. Uh, the children have more of a um, opinion because it is a very, very small town and maybe they have they feel the consequences more. I keep pinching myself. I still can't believe I'm getting married. I always had a hard time telling guys I was interested, so I didn't have that many boyfriends before Francis. Luckily, Francis is pretty good at asking for what he wants. Oh yeah, the Challenger. The Challenger. That must have been devastating also. Absolutely. Oh, thanks so much for melting down the last of my ore for me. Don't know when I'm going to get the chance to get more. Oh, Francis, you worry too much. By the time you're done using these ingots, I'm sure you'll be able to get more ore. I can't help it. Worrying is my default state. Hard to let go of anxiety. I'm always here to talk to you. Worrying uses up energy. Facts. Hard to let go of anxiety. Also facts. Uh, I'm always here to talk to you. Probably the best thing that we could probably say to Francis. Hey, if you ever want to take a walk on the beach and just blow off some steam, let me know. <laughs> wow. Thanks. I might take you up on that sometime. I've always been a worrier, I guess, but it got worse before I left home. Did something happen? I don't really want to get into it. I just left some things unresolved is all, and I don't know when or if I'm ever going to go back to settle them. Very well. Good friends now. Uh, my four-year-old my four-year-old daughter said, when I was a three-year-old, <laughs> Back when I was a three-year-old. <laughs> what, you mean like two months ago? <laughs> what did you think of the debate? I thought Otto made some strong points. <laughs> uh, it'll be down to the wire, I bet. I have never seen anyone get allergies like Cameron at the debate. I keep telling him to go see Amira, but he won't do it. He's gonna be fine. Trust me. <laughs> I want to get to uh, Parker before it closes because I do want to get the barn in. I do. I want to get the barn in and get some moo cows. I guess Mutilda's in. Let me see all the Mutildas, please, and thank you. Oh, God, they're all in here. Hello, Parker. What do you think about all this? He's probably going to have a very strong opinion going towards Mr. Otto. Yeah, because I feel like he's in, him and Lena, right? Him and Lena. Are, well, no. Actually, sorry. Him and Sophia are kind of out of the loop, right? You know, Mayor Soft may not always take the popular positions, but I think that just shows he's a man of integrity. There it's you go. Easy trying to lead a family. I, I mean, town. Did I say family? <laughs> there you go. Exactly my point. I totally get Marty's impulse to want to come here and stir things up a bit. Messenger Connor did that with the Consciousness Center, but I don't know. I think before trying to change a place, it might be a good idea to at least try learning about it first. Give me the barn, please. 
So we need 1800 for this, uh, quite a bit of iron and a lot of wood. Okay. That's going to take a little bit, but it's not impossible to do for sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start kind of like getting towards that now. Going to need a lot of wood. I'm going to come out here, start chopping down some trees and uh, getting this kind of going. And then end the night time, we got to go to the coven anyways, or the coven, sorry, the coven anyways, and uh, talk with them once again. I will say though, getting married, Francis has a lot of anxiety built up. I get it. I, you know, I've talked about this before. When I got married, it was like, I, I one, I couldn't sleep. One, I couldn't eat. You know, the day before, the day of, I woke up at, I think I woke up at like three in the morning, the day I was, you know, got married, and that day went by so fast. But it was weird because it's like, oh, it's like, why, why are you so nervous? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know how to even describe the nerve of it. Like, I don't. I really don't. Like, it's it's not like, you know, you're going up to there and doing 90 day fiance and being like, oh, this person, I don't know. You know, it's not like 90 day fiance. Now, that would probably make me even more sick. How do people do that stuff? That's what I have to say. 90 day fiance it's all i don't know dude most of that is fabricated anyways right what do you think about all this here bruno even though you know your son what did you think of the debate bruno otto knows how i feel about his curfew sure he's had to pick his pop up from the bar once or twice but i don't make trouble for nobody just get a little turn around going home if i've had a few so I hear Francis and Angus are planning a wedding. That's right. They're making it official. <laughs> official. All right. All right. All right, Bruno. You son of a gun. I think this tree is going to have to do with something, right? Are they going to get married under this tree? I have a feeling it is. Wait, what the heck? It's like a magic noise coming from it. How much of the story do you think is left? Oh, I have no idea. I, I do not know how much of the story I think is left. Hey, journeyman. You wouldn't happen to know a spell to help me find something that's missing, would you? I do happen to know what you're looking for to find what you're looking for. <laughs> You need to learn some scrying. Which is what? It's basically looking into a magic mirror and asking it to find stuff for you. Magic or mirror? Anything. People, possessions, whatever. Huh. Witches usually use pools of water because water has its own magical properties. Huh. A basin of water is best so you can more easily contain the spell. Build one of these scrying basins in your sanctum and then pour this potion into it. Say the name of who or what you're looking for and it'll do the rest. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Potion recipe? It is a potion recipe. That's a very interesting one. Scrying potion. Blueprint. Scrying bull. Oh, okay. All right. I feel you. I understand now. Okay. Very well. It's a big day for anyone. The excitement probably kept you awake. Yeah. Maybe it was like me. I just wanted everything to go smooth, I guess. Married or first sight? I wouldn't do that either. Yeah, married at first sight. That is, um... <laughs> like, let's go down to the courthouse and let's let's bust this thing out. I've had some friends in my time where they just... They got married and it didn't work out. And it's like, you, yeah, you just you knew that person for like three weeks. What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> Why are you surprised? Like, I would love to be sentimental and I would love to be like there for you. But like at the same time... What do you want me to say, you know? I can only be there for you. I can't really, like, be like, oh, yeah, she's a son of a gun. Well, you guys probably might not have been compatible. I'm sorry, you know? Any of you guys maybe figure that out? It's like, really what it boils down to is, like, what it really, really, really boils down to, I might be able to get back to the coven right now. 
and probably will be. Let, let's get back to the coven quickly. Um, what it really boils down to is when you get married to somebody, you should at least live with the person for at least six months. I mean, you could be in a relationship with somebody uh, and, you know, have your own places there and there and there and there. You guys go back and forth, go back and forth, you know, and you can say, oh, well, I kind of practically live there because uh, I'm over there all the time. Practically and, you know, I'm over there all the time doesn't mean live with the person. Like we're talking like live with a person 24 seven, wake up, go to sleep six months, you know, every single day, then see it, where you guys are at if you guys because it's a partnership you know it's a partnership the whole the highs and the lows right you got to be there for both are the potions ready yes here they are wonderful i'll take one now give the rest out to each member of the coven give a spectra or sorry spec give a spectra Spectre, Spectre, Spectre potion to each member of the coven. Okay. Here you go. Shelby. Damn it. Do you have a familiar too? I got uh, four right now, but I've had more. <laughs> only fools think you can have only one familiar. Your life changes every day, doesn't it? Very well. Very Thanks. Well. For what? The potion, of course. I haven't given it to you yet. <laughs> Never mind. Here you go, Farseer. There we go. Here you go. Thanks, new witch. <laughs> this smells great. What? I'll mix it up with some of my own stock when I get back to the bar. What? Oh my god, dude. What do you put in your stuff, Damon? My lord. Here you go. Herbalist. Thanks. <laughs> I can get used to this new title. I was, I'm, I'm so old. I wasn't allowed past the front porch of my future husband's house until after we were married. Whoa. That would be kind of scary, no? Here you go, adept. Appreciated. Plants certainly can be powerful, no? I always thought so. Just maybe not so literally. <laughs> she just put something in the cauldron. Okay, so everybody has everything, right? Everybody has their potions. I've handed out the potions to everyone. Well then, all that is left is to drink your own. Oh god. Oh, look at her chug it. Ugh, tastes like grass. <laughs> if you want to quibble over taste, speak to the journeyman next time. Yeah, he mixes Thank all his you stuff. For all your help. I've been saving these for an emergency, but your propensity for trouble suggests you could use an emergency supply too. Three sapphires? Ooh. Dawn dust. Morning, night, hide this place from plainer sight. Oh, wow. Living on the hedge. Three sapphires. Ah. Ah. And then it disappears, yeah? Oh, very good. Very good. Ah. Ah, I don't want to pass out, but I'm like so intrigued. <laughs> ah. Very cool. Very, very cool. Love that. There's the music coming in. Ooh. I always had a chaperone. I went inside the house. I would be labeled as a hussy for life. Yeah, we do need to get the broom. Yeah, we need to get to get the broom for sure. Absolutely. Well, I think our grapes are ready now too. We might be able to pull out eighteen hundred, uh, eighteen hundred dollars or gold. You know, whatever the currency is in this. 
I want to see what she says one more time about this. It's grandma's room. Okay, guess guess it's not my room, right? Um, go downstairs real quick. I don't know if I have another speed on me. I do not have another speed on me. Let's make another speed or two, possibly. Yes. Three. That's good. <laughs> there we go. Oh, when did we get the muffin? I don't remember getting the muffin. There we are. Time for walking. Zephyr in Ravenwood, but she's closed Mondays and Tuesdays. Okay, so she's closed today. Did these wither? Oh, did I not water these? Oh no! You should remember to plant your water your plants every day. Oh no. Alright, well, F me. Alright, I deserved it. I yeah, I deserve it. I absolutely deserve it. Hopefully that's not the same down here. No. That's good at least. Yeah, that's my first ever crops actually being um taken out by the by by me, really. Yeah, by me. Collect the grapes. Collect the oh wait the grapes don't re uh, re go. It's just a one time use. Okay. It bugs me to have so much wasted space in my house. Apparently, Grandma's death doesn't bother t bother Tara too much. So why can't she use that room? I know, right? Oh, Giva gave us the give us the muff, muffin. Is that what happened? Two or one more egg. The game is is interesting. Uh, this is the first stream I catch from this game. I might go and watch the other videos. Yeah, it's a pretty cool game. It's a really good, uh, really interesting type game for sure. Like uh, story wise and all that. Yeah. Are you able to put two rows of the planters right next to each other to save space because you can water them on the opposite sides? I could, yeah. Probably. Probably might be a good idea. Let's see. Make a lane for them. Lemons. Give me lemons. Give me mulberries. There we go. Go like this. Watch. Hey, yo. Right there. There we go. And then we can even like go like this. And then if we wanted to, we can go like this. And then we even have room for more down here. You know? We can go that way. But I'm not gonna build the bunch because we're saving a little bit of money right now for the barn. <clears throat> We're gonna need more stone too. No, no, sorry. We need uh, iron. That's what we need. But we need to make some money as well. Let's see here. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Yes, yes, yes. Four days until the election actually starts. Oh, you know what? 20 of these also. So let's hang on. Let's talk to Natalia. Sell you 190 worth of stone. Uh, copper ingots, maybe? I mean, yeah, let's do that. We'll sell her some copper ingots. We can always make copper ingots anytime we want. I can't remember if it's silver or if it's iron for the barn. So maybe I'll wait on that. Make a little bit of money there. We'll go to Lena. Sell some crops to Lena. Make some money there. Yeah, make some money there. Oh, there he is. Everybody's dream. The werewolf that is in love with books. I've been reading about old Russian harvest festivals now that it's finally fall. Okay. My dad may have been a deadbeat, but I still like learning about the place he came from. Maybe Very well. If I can find a potion that lasts for an entire flight, I could even go there someday. The fish finger. Uh, the fish finger. Uh, like selling all the different fish fingers, right? Hello. Kim? Wow, uh, it smells like bleach in here. That's exactly what bleach. it is. Working with raw meat means I gotta wipe down my surfaces all the time. 
I'd rather get food poisoning than have one of my customers get sick. Amy, you're looking out, I guess, right? You are looking out. Hang on a sec. Does it actually tell me? Hang on. Kim, do you give me a price? Do you give me like a, a price here? I could sell Pancho for $2,800? Oh my god. Right. And then we can eat Pancho? Lena, get behind the counter. This right here, this spot right here with all the candy jars and everything reminds me of the Willy Wonka candy store in like the first like 20 minutes of the movie. I overheard Vanessa say that she wished we had an organic grocery store on the island. And that would be nice in theory, but doesn't she know that it would put me out of business? Oh, she probably doesn't even realize it. Never mind. If I sacrifice that chicken, that chicken could buy me a barn. That's incredible. <laughs> Holy moly. All right, so that, I'll, I will be the first to admit, that might be a possibility here. Uh, let's see here. Let's go, how many oranges? Eight oranges. All of our lemons. All of our mulberries. All of our grapes. Not all of our grapes. Let's do eight, half of our grapes. Fennel? I mean, we could. Pomegranates? We'll get rid of. Soybeans? Pumpkins? We could. Cabbage? Oh, wait. We should actually be keeping some of this. Not all. Not like selling at all. Let's do this. Just in case if there's any villagers that need something. Like, oh, I need cabbage. Or, oh, I need soybean. Oh, I need a pumpkin. Oh, I need a grape, right? I should be kind of doing that. Regardless, though, we have 3,100. That's sick. Oh, what do you think about the election, Kai? I guess I didn't really get your opinion. Did the debate impact your vote, Kai? No way, my dude. Marty crushed it. He's my bro. Marty's your bro? Um, I thought I was pretty lucid during the debate, but Cameron clucked like a chicken, right? <laughs> he sure did. Oh, good. I mean, not good, but like, I thought I got a bad batch of something. What did you think of the debate? Uh, oh, it was interesting. Yeah. Okay, I, I might have dozed off for a minute. I couldn't help it. It's not like there were fireworks. I have a hard time parting ways with the animals like in real life. I'm right there with you, Sarah. Sarah Dippity. Um, we don't have an apple tree. Let's buy an apple tree. Um, and then we'll sell them some beeswax. We could sell them silk. But I'm going to hold on to the silk. Why am I holding on to the silk? You never know if during the wedding, they say, give me some silk pajamas. Right? You never know. Amira, what is, what is your thoughts about the election? How did you feel about the debate, Amira? I'll be honest, Tara. I'm worried. I hope our fellow citizens do the right thing. Well, who? Wait, wait. Okay, who are you thinking? Make sure you're getting enough sleep. That's Visiting what I'm trying to do. Places, especially the kind we visited, takes more energy than you think. Okay, very well. Okay, so the question is, how much would Marty buy Pancho for? Would they buy it for the same at the butcher? Let's let's test this theory out. Let's see. I don't even know. Is Marty open on a freaking Tuesday? Marty, you are. You damn well should be. Okay, it's Tuesday. Let's see. Would you pay the same amount for uh, Pancho? He he buys it for less. Technically, it's less. I mean, it's not much less, but it is less. Interesting. What are your thoughts on the election? I hope you like the debate. I didn't get to talk about all of my ideas, though, and I have so many exciting ones. Really? Like what? Oh, follow me on social. We're posting a new idea every day. I don't have a phone. Yeah, great chatting with you. <laughs> Otto just can't stop talking about that neighborhood watch of his. How do I know he's not telling his people to watch me? Hmm? I'm not a fan of, like, the neighborhood watch and the, uh... Like, the curfew type thing. I don't know. We talked about... Oh, no. I guess we didn't get Shelby's opinion. Did the debate make an impression?
impression on you, Shelby? Oh, in fact, it did. Oh, so are you voting for Otto or Marty? None of them. I was voting for one of them. I knew it. Okay. I knew it, Shelby. How are you feeling, Shelby? Any more headaches? Feeling much better, thanks. But I still feel a chill in the air. Oh, it is fall. I know that. Young folks think they're so clever these days. Oh, so if you sell to Kim, you get the money and you get the meat? Oh, my lord. I don't think Marty gives you a share of the meat either. Funnel is the cone? Yeah, it's like the cylinder looking thing, right? I don't have a phone. <laughs> kind of pretentious. Fennel is a vegetable and a funnel is the device you use to pour liquid into a bottle. <laughs> or. Or. Wait. Hang on a sec. I haven't seen that up there. Is that like a bed up there? That looks so cozy. Or funnel is something you say... When you are at a college party. Can you funnel this down my mouth? Maybe that's not what they say. Is that what the kids say these days? <laughs> hey, Giva. I've never understood people who say, nice weather, isn't oh, it? Oh, you, you and that freaking... That, that mouth right there, Giva, the same. Nice weather, isn't it? Oh, all weather is nice. Giva. You, you have more dialogue than that, right? I, you should. You should have more dialogue than that. I want to try to make her uh, one of her favorite dishes. Try to is keyword. Try to. Give a... And funnel cakes. There you go. Funnel is for funnel cakes. Perfect. Uh, so you sell to Kim for a higher price and get meat and sell the meat for more gold. Is that right? You could do that. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, you definitely could do that. Make sure these are going. That's going. Very good. Yeah, you definitely could do that. One thing I need to do now is I need to build a scrying board. A scrying bowl. Sorry, not board. Iron ingot. I don't know if it's... I think it's closing time. Yeah, so I need iron ingot to be able to do that. Very well. So then I know I'm going to need wood too for the barn. So let's go ahead and start chopping down for some barn. Don't sell that chicken to be uh, to be slaughtered. It's sad, isn't it? Yeah. By the way, hello, you Kaiser. Is that what the kids say these days? Way to make me feel old. Well, I don't know. I know like... I know like... I don't know. The 21... In myself in the 22 in myself in the 23 in myself felt like I was an adult and then those years passed and I was like you're barely an adult now what makes you think you were back then <laughs> you know <laughs> let's be fair I don't think we get to an adult stage until we're about like 52 maybe until we like starting we i don't know may, <laughs> maybe we get to the adult stage when we start getting the aarp discount at denny's then maybe possibly we're like okay maybe then we are now an adult once you start getting discount at denny's then you know you've made it a hundred percent i could Ah, <sighs> I'm just saying, man. I kind of want to make a honey mint cooler because we do have that an option to us and see how much it sells for. So I'm going to make a honey mint cooler just to see how much it sells for. I live on a ranch in real life, so I mean, it's just how you grow up. I see. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, ranchers, I mean, they, you know, go through that and, and things like that. Right. 
I would have to say in real like for me for me I think that would be hard. For a rancher that probably would be a little bit different. Wait, the AARP has been after me since I was in my 30s, just saying. <laughs> it's not for old No, no, it is not for old folks anymore. Yeah, it's not it's not for old folks anymore. That's like 60, I believe. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's good. All right, real quick. Hang on a sec. I'm going to just hang on. Just give me a moment. I'm going to uh, go to the bathroom real quick and I will uh, be right back. We're not ending the stream. We're not ending the stream. I'm just going to go to the bathroom real quick. This would be a great time if you haven't already to hit the like button. I would appreciate that. And I'll be right back. Hang on. One moment. Let me go get a drink real quick. One moment. Why, hello. Welcome back. Okay. I'm back. <clears throat> you know what Danielle said to me today? For anyone that didn't hear me say it yesterday, Danielle told me, she says, guess what I'm going to do? She like said, she, she was like flexing to me today. She says, I'm going to McDonald's and I'm getting myself an adult Happy Meal. McDonald's has an adult Happy Meal now serving the throwback toys from when everyone was a kid. She says, I'm going to flex on you and I'm going to go get myself an adult Happy Meal. I had no idea what the hell an adult Happy Meal was until yesterday. All right, here we go. At 26, your car insurance goes down. So something to look forward to in your 20s. Yeah, there you go. My car insurance went down drastically and then it went up because of COVID. But, you know, <laughs> the C word. Um, but, um, yeah, there's that to look to. Hey, you know what? And, you know, at least in the United States, I don't know if this is different elsewhere. But, hey, if you uh, once you turn 25, you can rent a car. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> It's so funny. You can't rent a car until you're 25. So, I mean, there's that to look forward to as well. Hey, Sammy Joe. How you doing? New here. Just started watching over the past couple of weeks. Really enjoying it. Oh, your content. I appreciate that, Sammy Joe. How you doing? Good to see you. Hey, Alicia. How you doing? Good to see you. I know I got to hit it with the uh, with the uh, Coke Zero, Coke Zero sugar. 
I still have the thief happy meal. <laughs> have you had must mustard cheese yet? You mean from what we talked about yesterday? No, but I should uh, have Danielle like see if she can find some at the grocery store sometime for sure. Just so I can experience that because I don't know what monster cheese is. Adult Happy Meals are just Happy Meals for me. <laughs> Good point. Great point. Excellent point. We need iron, right? We need some iron for that. Uh, for that. What was it? it, was, a, it was, a, was it a potion we were crafting or something? It was something that we needed iron for. I was gone for like not even five minutes and I've already lost my train of thought. Iron. One. Let's go to Angus. Angus, we got the eggs for you. Eggs and milk. I'll use store-bought ingredients if I have to, but... No need. Here. They give way too much food otherwise. Milk, huh? You're worth a true baker's dozen. Come by in a day and I'll show you what I've whipped up. Is that a new rule? Because I definitely rented cars before I was 25. Uh, it has been a while since I was 25, though. Um, and, and like any time in my entire adult life, I, I've never had been able to rent a car because I wasn't 25. I don't know how new of a law that is or rule, or I don't even know if it's a law or if it's just what car rental companies do nowadays. I really don't know the backstory on that. I just know at any time in my life, um, I could never rent a car because I was never 25. So what did you think of Otto's speech at the debate? I mean, I was I I eventually, but... chance of getting paid if he keeps his job, right? But it's the principle of the thing. Oh, that's what it was. It was Julia's uh, sheet music. That's what it was. Thank you. That's what the iron was for. So it's confirmed. Our family I'm pretty sure. Coming to the wedding. Oh, Francis. What? No, no, no. It's fine. Really. What? Friends are the family you choose. And you'll be there, right? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Why? Why are they not going to be there? Why? I'm curious. If I were to give like jewelry to somebody, would they really love it? I want to try this out. A gold diamond ring. A girl, a gold pearl ring. What if I were to give so a perfectly round pearl set in a gold ring, make it at the metalworking table and sell it to Francis? Well, what if I buy it from Francis? Can I give it? Probably, right? I want to give it to Giva. I want to give it to Giva. <laughs> and see what happens. Let's go back for that uh, scrying, scrying potion. Yeah, scrying potion. My car insurance went down because of COVID, but my electricity bill tripled. Oh, dude. Same, dude. My, my utility company just the other day, uh, they're suggesting. They're like, hey, you should probably get solar panels because we're going to be up in your prices. Solar plant panels is a very good way to uh, keep everything cheap. Well, that effed me. I then got a rent increase notice on the 1st of October. They said, hey, we're going to increase your rent. We have 90 days to make this adjustment. I said, sick, dude. But this was the biggest increase in rent I've ever seen. Since I've lived where I've lived. I see increases every year, but... This is the most I've seen in one jump, at least. You have 90 days to make the uh, necessary adjustments. And pay us more money, please and thank you. Right. Thank you for that. wonder if it's just more expensive if you're under 25. I, I don't know. You just flat out can't rent a car at 25. At least in, in, in the areas I, I'm in. Oh, Giva's not here. Does Giva live in the log cabin down here? Hey, Raider Chris. How you doing? If you go to Parker in the barn, barn construction, press show me. He will mark the place where you have to clean it. It will appear in your to-do list so you'll always have the materials you need very good shout that's good good shout go All right, let's head back i was gonna give give her the ring but i guess i'll pass on that for now i think it was a company policy because i've seen different age requirements in different rental places 
And it could be a company policy thing. Someone needs to like actually Google that. Be like, can you rent a car under the age of 25? That's still brewing. Wow, that takes two days to brew. That's kind of crazy. Yes, so I needed the iron for this thing. So we've done did this. Might as well put it right there. Okay. Then we go here. I need to brew some scrying potion to use it. Okay. So then we need to make the potion. And the potion is here. So what we need is essence of copper and essence of silver. Very well. I would love to get another distillery in if I can. I need a copper ingot to do that. F. I just freaking sold one to uh, Natalia. So let's go get a copper ingot. We can get another distillery in there. Maybe two more distilleries in there, potentially. I used to be able to rent a car back when I was 18 anyway. California is different from the rest of the country, so I'm not sh surprised. Well, even in Hawaii, Hawaii you needed to be, I think, 25 too. Um, let's see here. Let me get two coppers. Because I'm going to make two of those distilleries. Okay. Uh, excuse this me? Weather is no good. That cat knows how to look out for itself. You don't need to worry. Oh, I'm sure. But there's this legend that cats can... Well, never mind. Let's just say I'm a cat lady. <laughs> you have solar and your bill went back up to $800 a month again? My God. Well, that then... And you have to pay on pay the solar, solar uh, bill, right? As in like... You have to pay your uh, your your solar installation. I don't know how much a solar panel. Well, it's like in the probably tens of thousands, right? You have to pay that over time, right? On top of all that. Uh, so we want to go uh, another distillery. Two more, please. If this is too much, then I might, um, you know, might back down on it. But I think two more would be okay. No, I, I don't think this is too much. This is fine. I could even add another one if I really, really wanted to. Okay, let's get uh, the essence. What did I need? I need the essence as copper, I think, and copper and silver. Yeah, copper and silver. Get the silver essence going and the copper essence going. There we go. That should be good. That will give me what I need for the scrawly. Scrawly? I have a hard time saying that. More crops would not be a bad idea. Uh, we can go talk to Parker, maybe. I don't know. Does it close at 4 or does it close at 5? I guess I can check real quick before running all the way over there. It closes at 5, Monday through Friday. Okay. He has one of the most normal hours in this entire town. He's just like Franklin, dude. He's just like Franklin. I don't know if I'm going to get there in time, am I? No, I'm going to be fine. I should be fine. Oh, God. I hope I'm fine. I might be, like, right before he closes. 10 minutes. Ah, let me in. Get out of the way. Talk to you. Oh, my Lord. Show me. We'll be able to fix up this barn. No problem. Thank you. You'll need to clear out all the trees and rocks from the area I've roped off. Definitely will. So. You come back and let me know when you've cleared out all the trees and rocks there. And then we can talk business. Okay, so I'm going to need money. Uh, wood and 60 iron ingots. I have 60 iron ores, I believe, so that shouldn't be too bad. Well, that's going to cost a lot to have it smelted down and all that. Electricity went cost uh, went up, and it's not legal in our area to go, go off the grid. Oh, wow. When my husband's car took a po uh, poop, they were not going to let us rent one since we were 21 at the time. Thankfully, we were able to sort it out. But man, that was a headache. See, they didn't let you rent a car because you were 21. Now, I wonder how that is through an insurance policy, right? Through an insurance policy, I wonder if that's a little bit different, you know? I think four is too many. I've never heard of that many in, in game yet. Hey yo. Have a good one, gaming Nana, and thank you so much for the generosity too as well. Appreciate that. Have a good rest of your evening. Or yeah, rest of your day.
I paid cash for my solar years ago. I've got 48 panels on my house. Holy moly. Plenty enough to go off the grid if I need to and when I need to. That is so much. There we go. 120 exactly. Now we just need 60 iron ingots, which we should have enough. Um, but money-wise, we might need to earn a little bit more. Let's go downstairs. Let's do this. Hello. Copper's done. This is going to take a few more hours. That's no big deal. That will be ready in the morning. Hey, Ryder. How you doing? Call it scry. If your electric bill is below 30, it is considered free. Really? Huh. In your country, if the electric is is is, is below 30, it's considered free. That's interesting. The time for walking slow has passed. Dun 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 dun. Alright, so we're gonna need to go see how much money it's going to cost us ultimately to uh smelt these iron ores into 60 correct 60 60 yeah 60 uh pancho pancho yeah 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 we got to get to pancho hello pan oh that's not pancho that's a layla layla You just realized what happened to, I, I just realized what happened to Dragon Quest Builders playthrough. Wait, just realized? What do you mean? <laughs> what did you realize? You realized something? Okay, get that done. Push that to the side. I could even get another chicken. I mean, Pancho's a hard hitter, dude. He is a big hitter. We need to go to the Ravenwood, too, as well. Oh, look at that. You haven't played in a while? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's what you realized. <laughs> right. Okay. Good realization there. <laughs> um, Let's go to Natalia. We'll go to Natalia first. See how much it will cost us to do 60 iron ingots. Then what we will do is go to Ravenwood and talk more. About potential. Oh, wait, is she not going to be open today? All right, we're going to go to Ravenwood. Gotta love that. I mean, you know what? Hang on. Before we go to Ravenwood, let's go to Giva. See if I can give Giva a pearl ring instead. Because that's what I want to do. I want to give her the ring. We were unable to get one through Kia since our engine had a factory default uh, defect. Uh, the people who work there were very kind of understanding since uh, the car breaking was... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if it's through the car dealership... Yeah, if it's through the car dealership and not like a car accident or anything like that... Yeah, the, the, the car dealership are pretty good. They, 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 will, they will let you, like, borrow a car for sure. Yeah. It was still not here. That's not like her. Wednesday through Friday. Okay, so, so she's closed Wednesday through Friday. Interesting. Yeah, I gotta learn those hours now. But yeah, if it's through the car car dealership, they're 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 they will let you borrow a car regardless of age. It's just the car rental companies that will be like, what the frick? Again, that that could be different just depending on where you live. But give me a pine cone, please. There we are. Yeah, any, like, factory defect or, like, um, what is it, like, recalls or something like that. Um, is it, uh, it that's, is that's their responsibility. Possibly. Holy crap. What the heck is that? Coconut pudding. How you, how, 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 pia? How, pia? How, pia? How, pia? Is that what it is? How, pia? Marmalade pudding. Wow. Kind of interesting stuff there. There we go. Okay. 
Now let's go to Ravenwood. Let's go to Ravenwood. Unless we see Giva just strolling around down here, which I doubt we will. We will not see her on the farm. Um, yeah, nope. Doesn't seem like it. Natalia is here, though. But we're going to go to Ravenwood and get a little bit of talky-talky with them. Get a little chit-chat going on. Let's see here. Um, yeah. Ah, oh, Mulberry. My good man. Welcome to my humble little shop. See? I really am a rare bookseller. Just, um, very rare books. I used to have fantasies about browsing books in stores like this. With a beast. What books are these? Many of them are incantation collections. There's some history of magic and magical theory mixed in, too. Oh, and detective stories. I love a good detective story. Uh, by the way, the last time I was in town, Kai mentioned he'd sold you a mulberry seedling. Do you have any extra mulberries? I'll check. What are you making? Oh, just a incantation. That's not vague at all. It's for, uh... Well, I, uh... <clears throat> you see... It's okay. You don't have to tell me. As long as you're not making, I don't know, some magical bomb. I would never. I was joking. Mostly. Let look at them. Look, mulberries. Look, at, look at them. Look at them. They're so like, um, what is it? They're so, uh, see, I, I knew I should have kept on to the mulberries, but they're so like back and forth, um, chatty, chatty, oh, so teasy, teasy. Very well. Um, what does your shop give again? Summon the night spell and parchment. Sunny day spell. Summon wind spell. Why would you want wind? I wonder. Uh, summon small things longer and boost longer those are super super helpful i guess if i want to unlock those i need to kind of sell the ones i have now uh speed time i kind of would sell this to you because i don't really see this going on for me right now this incantation will uh shorten the crafting or growing time of items or cr oh wait no never mind that's 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 that wait a sec wait a sec you cast on it speed time spell I thought that was like an actual speed time during the day. Does that make our time go faster? Not our crops. Crafting or growing times. Or crops you cast on it. Interesting. Okay. Right. Hmm. So did your mom also come to Alaska from Russia? <laughs> no, she didn't come from anywhere. She grew up in Alaska. My grandparents would have preferred that she didn't marry a random foreigner. But when my dad left, they helped raise my brother and me. <sighs> I wish I could see them again. <clears throat> a recipe to use is those coconuts okay so the coconut for that coconut pudding right coconut pudding use the coconuts it will fill your bar in one hit is that right i like this chick harry if the wellspring is nearby does that mean i can visit it oh of course not the wellspring is absolute magic that is why magic courses through every leaf and pebble in the gloaming. Only very experienced witches, or very old fae, can make it to the center of the gloaming. Hmm. I wonder if we went to the center of the gloaming, if we can or if we could, what it would do. That's what I was thinking, trying to, or going to sell those incantations to advance the shop. I was thinking about that. This guy just gives me pain. I hear you are choosing a new leader in your town. Hmm. Strange. Betty has never given us much of a choice. Oh. Although, I can't imagine who would want to run against her. <laughs> Not even me. And I can outrun anyone. You can outrun anyone? Which way do you go when you outrun anyone? Backwards or frontwards? So we're going to need, well, okay, we don't need any stone. This should be fine. Let's see here. How many days left? Two days left until the election. Hold on to your freaking marbles. Uh, visit Angus to get a taste of the uh, marmalade pudding, which is marmalade. That's the one we just got, right? The recipe. Let's see here. Let's go to Angus real quick. See him in his shop. He better be open on a Thursday. That's what I'm saying. That's good intel. I didn't. I don't think I ever found the coconut recipe in my first playthrough. I'll have to look for it now that I am playing again. Oh, very good. Very good. Very good. 
Yeah, it, I'll, I'll I'll look into that. I wonder to see how much yeah, how much uh it takes to make that pudding. Like how many rest or like how many different ingredients it is. Like is it complicated or is it not complicated? I'm so excited to see what you think. Actually, I might have overcatered a bit, so I've got a few for you. Thanks for all your help. What the heck is this? Oh, this is five of the marmalade puddings. Ah. Out of curiosity, marmalade puddings, how much would that give us? What is that? Is that vegan? Is that what that little emblem is, is made for? Yeah, vegan. Can't really tell right there. Orange Scottish pudding from a special Sutton family recipe can be sold to Angus. Cool. Uh, Francis, anything going on with you, my good man? I lost the cake debate. I don't know what kind of cake Angus is making, but he's not using fondant. Hmm. I guess I can't argue with a guy who won an episode of Baking Battles. If your husband is a baker, let him choose the cake. Let him do the cake. He will not disappoint you. 100%, right? Right? At least that's what you had to think. Things got um, rather personal at the end of the debate, didn't they? But I would like to go on the record and say that inviting Marty to purchase the ranch was not a sweetheart deal. It's okay, Otto. I'm not a reporter. You don't have to go on the record. Oh, you have to talk to Zephyr in Ravenwood? Is that what it is? Talk to uh, Zephyr? Oh, what did she think about the election? Oh, well, she's going to be very biased. I may be biased, but I think Mayor Soft <laughs> made his case for why he deserves four more years. Do you always call him Mayor Soft? I mean, you're his wife. Yes. Is that odd? Exactly. You're going to be very biased about this. I might have to go buy Sophia's diner later. She does have fantastic pie. Oh, no, I don't really do carbs. But a straight shot of black espresso would be perfect right about now. I will say, I have never had a shot of espresso, I don't think. Not to my, like... Recollect, recollection, recollect, recollection, recollect, recollection, memory. Uh, not that I know. Uh, I don't think I've ever had a espresso shot. You look like you're in a good mood, Violet. Of course I am. Marty crushed Otto in the debate. I'll be a little sad to lose Mrs. Sauce's business for fancy floral arrangements at the mayor's mansion, but it's worth it. Mom would get so annoyed when Dad would try to bring me and Sebastian to campaign events. She was all, stop using our children to charm voters. But I can't blame him. We were freaking adorable. I can't get the uh, the image of the, uh, the actual voice actress uh, that does her out of my head now every time she speaks. I, I so see it. It's so good. Where does Zephyr, is Zephyr off to the far right in Ravenwood? I gotta see, hang on a sec, time out. Before I, like, make a fool of myself here, hang on, time out. Yeah, Zephyr, yeah, he is off to the far right. Got it. Vanessa's tried to talk to me about Otto's campaign so many times now, but I think it's because she doesn't know how to talk about other things. Normal things. The poor woman. She needs more friends. I feel like Amira... Kind of low key likes to get into drama, possibly, or she likes to get into a lot of people's business. Don't tell Juliet, but I'm sad she's gone back to school this summer. I sometimes persuaded her to come walking on the beach with me. <laughs> she has an eye for the prettiest seashells. Yeah, that's true. Having a, a shot of espresso in black coffee that must be kind of intense, you know. That's that's a very strong taste, right? Hey, you made it back from your first adventure in the you know what? <laughs> nice. Um, was there ever any doubt? Considering our history with the place, yes. I'm gonna try to wrap myself back around here. The Ravenwood. I think he's on it. Yeah, Damon's on his way to. Uh, Kai is in the bar before Damon is. Kai might have a little bit of a problem. You know what? Probably not a good idea to go back to Ravenwood at, during the evening hours. We'll take one more stroll through here to see if there's any, uh, yep, any forgeable items. Very good. Oh, hey, Marty. What are you doing out here? People seem excited about the idea of shaking up the old town hall status quo. Maybe I have a chance at winning this after all. Very cool.
A shot of espresso in a coffee is called a red eye. I did not know that's what it was called. I mean, I know I'm very familiar with like red eye flights and things like that, but like, I did not know that's what they called it in um, in like coffee terms. I need to get more seeds too. Hopefully these mulberries are going to be done soon. Maybe they'll be done tomorrow. I don't know. I guess I can look at it. Get these fennels. Those are, those are doing fine. Grapes are doing fine. Three days. Ay, 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 ay. Let's give it a miracle grow. We'll give it we'll give it a miracle grow so that we can give it to Ravenwood. Or not to Ravenwood, but deliver it in Ravenwood. Everything else downstairs, how are we doing here? We got that going, right? Okay, yes, the silver is done. So we can finally make, make this potion. Right? Yes. Yeah, scry. Scry potion. How long will that take? One hour? That's it? Okay, well then I'll just like go outside and burn some energy off real quick. Get some wood. Oh, give a... I got something for you. I've never understood. Oh, that same dialogue. Give a... I cannot give you a ring. What the frick? Okay, um... Would you like a marmalade pudding? Oh, she loves it. Good. This looks marvelous, but I don't have much of an appetite now. I'll save it for later. Well, Giva, I wasn't expecting you to eat it right here in my front yard. <laughs> at 8 p.m. at night. I wasn't expecting that, but, you know, thanks for letting me know regardless. For me, a shot of espresso is a one-way trip to get a high blood pressure. Man, there's so much weeds. Maybe you have better you better be a friend with her to give her a ring. Ah, okay. So maybe you have to be like good friends or something like that. Alright, I see. I could see that. Scrying potion find anyone anywhere. Now we're using this for it right for the music sheet, correct? So it is kind of like I don't know, I, I hate to be like, oh, we're using we're we're wasteful using it, you know? I'd rather use it on a person than an item, but I guess the game's kind of like teaching us, right? How to use this thing. That's actually kind of cool. Now thinking about it, a scrying potion that can, you can find anyone, anywhere. That reminds me of Potion Permit a little bit, where you can use the NPC find uh, through the, the dog, right? The dog. You can use the NPC find. I guess the potion kind of works similar to that. Sort of. I've had delicious coffee drink with espresso in it from a Cuban restaurant, but I can't remember the name of it. A Cuban. I there there's is is it just called a Cuban maybe? I think I've heard of I think I've heard of a Cuban uh, coffee, kind of like espresso. Before. I don't want to grab this. I do want to grab this. I do want to grab a little bit of those flowers possibly. Uh, you know what? Actually, well, no, never mind. We're good. This should be done though, right? One hundred percent. Yeah, that is done already. Very cool. That is done too. We can sell that honey mint cooler if we wanted to. Is she like it? Is she like it? Then she better put if you, if she if you like it, then you better better put a ring on it. Exactly. What is that? Beyonce? Is that Beyonce? You better put a ring on it. Yeah, that is Beyonce. I'm pretty sure that's Beyonce. One hundred percent Beyonce, of course. I'm doubling down. Raise it. I raise you twenty. And the mul the mulberries did not come through. Damn it! Give me the orange. Give me the orange and no pomegranates. Mulberries will be tomorrow. Good. Mulberries will be tomorrow. Probably I'm gonna buy more uh, more seeds. Not uh, chicken feed seeds. More uh, crop seeds. Love that mouse right there, though, with the big ears. So good. Oh, God, no. Pet the chicken. 
a Cuban espresso is supposed to be more potent than the usual espresso here in the States. Aha. See, the Cuban espresso. I think a Cuban has a sweet taste, yeah? If an espresso has a sweet taste, that sounds deadly, right? <laughs> like, yes, I would take three shots of a Cuban espresso, please. You'd be up for like 48 hours. Natalia, here we come. 60 iron. That's what we need. 60 iron. Correct? Correct. Iron. Yep, 60 iron. Hey, lesson learned. Don't drink a shot of espresso before a doctor's appointment. My doctor shook, uh, shocked that my blood pressure spiked by a large margin when uh, he checked. I had someone who did that kind of very similar. Uh, somebody went and they, they had like a, a Red Bull. Not thinking. They're like, oh, I have a doctor's appointment at like 8 in the morning. You know, it's like, oh, crap. Let me just like... Hang on, I'm tired in the morning. Let me just drink a Red Bull. They drank a Red Bull right before their, they got their blood pressure taken. And then the doctor was like, holy crap. Last time we talked, you mentioned cat you know. legends. <laughs> oh, this sounds silly, but well, my dad believes that cats can talk to the spirits that watch over our houses. So I like to watch out for stray cats roaming around. That's not silly at all. I bet your dad was onto something. That's true. Like my friend, he, he has, uh, he has, he's on high blood pressure medication and I would not be f surprised not to like disregard him in any way, but I would not be surprised if he like got a Red Bull or a coffee before he went to his doctor's appointment, but he does have a very stressful job. So that's where I'm like, uh, maybe it's not like that. Maybe it's real 49. That's it. I need 60. All right. So we're lacking 11 on our, uh, iron ingots. Very well. Very well. Tomorrow's the day, right? Yeah, tomorrow is the election, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and use this potion, I think. Right? Do I use it or do I... Hang on a sec. Do I use it? Pour this potion into the bowl. Okay, yeah. Pour, pour it into the bowl. So let's go pour it into the bowl real quick. And then we'll find this music sheet, I guess. Okay, uh, let's go here. Please, scrying bowl. I'm looking for Juliet's music. The high blood pressure and the type 2 diabetes epidemic keeps me in my business, sadly. Keeps me in business, sadly. It's almost like an agenda for maybe, like, some, some, uh, some companies. Like, oh, we, we, we. How dare we? We can't find a cure to cancer, you know? Maybe, maybe, just maybe. Hang on a sec, Giva. What do you got going on here, girl? Oh, look at this. My parents sent me a letter. I can't believe it. Good or bad? Congratulating me for winning my grant, and and they want me to write back. Oh, yeah. Is that a bad thing? They had me signed up with the most prestigious matchmaker in Mumbai. I tried so hard to get out of it. I told them I wanted to finish college first. But finally, I had to tell them that I was never going to marry a man. Any man. It wasn't me liking women that upset them. It was the loss of prestige that I wouldn't make a match. So they cut me off, and I don't know if I can forgive them. Ah, this is a very dicey one for sure. Setting boundaries is, is okay. Parents might have changed. Family is important. Interesting. Very interesting. Setting boundaries is okay. I, I, I pers personally, I believe that, yeah, boundaries is okay. Parents may have changed. Um, honestly, if I'm speaking from a personal standpoint, over my lifetime, I would say definitely parents have changed in some degree of their life, right? Uh, throughout my life. Family is important, and I, 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 I agree to that to some extent. Uh, but some people, it might be the complete opposite for obvious reasons. But I think the word family is defined how you define it. Family isn't always blood, right? And I'm not trying to quote some Fast and the Furious, <laughs> like thing there I, I i truly believe that so there's a lot of things going on here i, I, I ultimately a setting boundaries is okay 
If you do decide to write them back, which is up to you, it's okay to go slow and set boundaries. That's a good point. I need time to decide whether or not I'll reply. But it's been so kind of you to listen. I haven't had a friend like you in a long time, Tara. Listening to each other is what friends are for. Now, I will say, I'll kind of go back on this. Parents do change. Does it mean parents change for the best? Or does it mean parents change for the good? You can see parents change for the worse as well, right? Hey, Charlie, how you doing? Hey, Aunt Captain, how you doing? <laughs> you can really be like, wow, you know, me, for, for an example, I'm not saying me personally, I'm just saying as an example, oh, me and my mom were such on bad terms when I was a kid, but as I grow older and I became an adult and I became closer, closer in age to my mom, we started to really see things eye to eye. Or you can say my dad was a real hero when I was growing up as a, as a child. And then as I became an adult, I started to realize and started to feel like maybe he wasn't after all, because the adult uh, conversation you have with your parents is a lot different than the child conversation you have with your parents. Correct. Or I guess child relationship with your parents compared to your adult relationship with your parents, right? There's two different relationships, two different lives, two different uh, mindsets there. Nice job moderating the debate, Cameron. Oh, thank you. That's all he said was thank you. Chicken bok bok, Mr. Uh, Jimmy Neutron and the parents turning into chickens or something. Give is not interested in joining the league, but no matter. I still enjoy hearing about her work. Oh, has she told you anything interesting lately? Well, it's all interesting if you care about science and progress. Oh, very well. <laughs> it was so expensive to make that potion. No, 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 no. It was not expensive to make that potion. Heck no, it was not expensive at, at all. The essence of silver and the essence of copper. That's not expensive. Oh, There's a username in chat. How's it going? Oh, baby. Hey, Shelby. How you doing, Shelby? Oh, baby. I mean, I like that. That was a. I, I like that conversation. Ultimately, I do like that conversation with Giva. I will say, it was pretty nice. It was pretty nice. And that's one of the things I really like about this game is how it just touches on those feelings for sure. You know? Yeah. It's one of my favorite things about the game. How personable it can get. Yeah. Oh, there it is. No, it's mine. It's mine. It's I not yours. It's in the rain. Juliet. She left it in our house. Finders keepers. Anyway, I'll give it back once I figure out how it works. Huh? Juliet makes such pretty sounds that come out of the guitar. I want to figure out how she does it. Hey, Cassie, how you doing? Y'all have like a lack of confidence in your boy here. F. <laughs> Uh, learning an instrument is okay, but stealing is also wrong. You can't just take other people's things like this. Juliet's been worried. I didn't mean to have it for this long. Okay, you can give it back. Thank you, Emmy. Juliet will appreciate it. Wait, how did you figure out it was me? Uh, it's pretty obvious. Lucky guess. Other than the fact that I used some witchcraft as well. <laughs> All right, let's go to Juliet. Juliet, Juliet, Juliet. Uh, where is Juliet? You think Juliet is in school? Yes. Perfect. I have something for you. You did it. I thought this was gone forever. Where did you find it? Don't tell her where you found it. Just say I found it. Yeah, don't tell it it was Emmy. No, oh, the wind blew it under a bush. Oh, uh, weird. I don't even remember dropping it, but okay. 
Thank you, Tara. You saved my butt. As Emmy comes in. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Very well. Nice. <clears throat> Mulberries eventually tomorrow. Let's go get more iron ingots out of the um, out of the uh, the mine shaft. Yeah. We're only 11 away. I don't think we're... Yeah, we're not going to be able to, to to get the iron ingots today. Now, tomorrow... Hang on a sec. Natalia, are you open to tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, Saturday. Okay, good. So, we'll be able to get it tomorrow. <clears throat> Vanessa's constant cocked eyebrow is a bit off-putting. She's this... She, she's like a, you know, a resting uh, bee face, No. I would have to say, she scares the crap out of me. Silver ore. I might not be. Will I be able to find iron down here? Is it just silver and copper, or is there also just mixed in with iron? I might have to go down a level, maybe. Copper, silver, copper, and I think I find gold too. Yeah, I might go down. Whoops. Down a level. Yeah, there's gold. You can find iron on any level. Okay. There's iron right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do instead... That's one out of 11, by the way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go on the first floor so that I don't get a chance of, like, getting silver or gold. And maybe give us the higher chance of getting iron. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. That There you go. That's the way you do it. Perfect. That works out. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, I'll get this done tomorrow. I will get Natalia. And then we'll get this barn up and going. Yeah. We can finally get the barn. Hooray. And we can get Mutildas and, and Sheepers or Shepherds, Sheepersons, or I don't know a good punny uh, name for a for a sheep, but maybe somebody knows that. But then, yeah, I'll get a sheep in and then we'll start, I guess, getting wool. I don't know what we will use wool for. Maybe for cloth fabric. Yeah, that's probably what. I guess we'll get that. We have well over 11 iron, I believe now. I'll just get these last two. Perfect. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Step on out. You know what? Uh, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll leave. I was going to say, I can use the rest of my energy uh, now to go to the last level and see if we can get to level 20, but I'll just start cutting down some more trees and things like that. Yeah, we'll get more trees going down. Get more wood in our pockets. Oh, you need 22? Oh, okay. Is it two ore for one ingot? Okay, okay. In that case, good shout. I didn't realize it was two ingots for one ore. I thought it was one ingot for one ore. At least for the iron. But yeah, if that's the case, then I'll, I'll get a little bit more. How much do I have now? Um, 16. Okay. So you need two for, for one. Got it. Hey! Don't call it a comeback. Hails to cans. <laughs> Thank you, German Road Crew, for the 25 freaking tip. My goodness gracious. That was very kind. Thank you very much for that. That was very, very kind. Big ups, indeed. I haven't seen that name in a in drop in a while. My good lord. Thank you for the 25 tip there. That was good. Thank you. Appreciate that. Big ups. Big ups, indeed. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Cassie says, I'm enjoying uh, playing this game more than I expected. So thanks for playing it and suggesting it. Oh, well, that's good to hear. I'm glad to hear that, Cassie. That's really good. I'm glad. It's, it's just one of those games where it's like, it's easy going. It's easy going and it's entertaining and it's fun and it's fun to like do the next thing. Nothing too high. 
you know, nothing too hard, nothing too too painful to grind out. Some people love grinds. We've been over this thousands of times. Some people like grinds, some people don't, you know, and this is, I think, a very good happy medium in between, for sure. That should be 22. 31. That's good. I used to go to the first levels to find only the iron. Yeah, that's good. That's good. The game wasn't on my radar until Cans played it. Oh, very well. Very well. Yeah, I forget which one it was. I can't remember if it was... Um, I can't remember if it was... The Steam Fest or the Demo Fest... In the beginning of the year... That introduced me to this game. Or if it was... Last year... Last October. That introduced me to this game. It might have been this year. I think they have like a Steam Demo Fest that happens in March as well. Yeah. Okay. Should I go? Yes, yeah, send me. Yeah, Car Mechanic Sim is a really good grind. Yeah. For sure, for sure. <laughs> the biggest only election in Fairhaven. It's election day. Is that Giva out by the fence? Go see what's up. Uh-oh. Morning, Giva. What are you up to? Headed to see the election results. Oh, of she's happy. I can't vote, but I wouldn't miss this for the world. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. Let's go. Why can't she vote? Here you go, Tara. It's so great to see all our neighbors performing their civic duty. Hmm. Who should I vote for? God. Oh! You know what? This is what we're going to do. Guess what, chat? Guess what we're going to do? We're going to run a poll here. Who do we vote for? Vote for whom? 2022. Do we dare vote for Otto, or do we dare vote for Marty? How about that? How about we ask everybody, and we'll go with your decision. We'll do this quickly. Quickly. Quickly, make sure to vote. Once you do vote, you cannot change your vote. So, uh, yeah. Let me know. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> This might be a landslide, I will say. <laughs> Possibly a landslide here. Have a good one, Cloudy. Have a good one. Moment of truth, the election day. Thank you for hanging out with us too, Cloudy. I appreciate that. And when you are voting, make sure to hit the like button. I would appreciate that. We're six likes away from 100 likes. Can we get 100 likes right now? Would that be possible? Deborah says, I started watching your decom stream streams since it since it's mentioned on most of your videos and I'm loving it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A lot of people really love Dinkum. Um, Dinkum is one of the uh, the the biggest series on the channel for sure. I feel like I'm seeing those steam fests three times a year. Yeah, it's about two or three times a year. Then there might be one in summer, too. Hey, thank you guys for hitting that like button. I do appreciate that. We got past 100 likes. I do appreciate that. Thank you all so very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm too far behind. I don't know. I can't vote. Is that this moment that Otto realized he done messed up? All right. So one minute has gone by. Put your votes in now. I think it's pretty obvious. Like... It, it's gonna be Marty. Marty is gonna is, is gonna send it here. This is a full send. It is what it is. If I had to vote between Otto and Marty, I guess chat says Marty. So here we go. Marty it is. So we'll close down the vote and we'll vote for Mr. Marty. Forward into the future. Whatever that might bring. Okay, everyone, we're ready to tally the votes. Okay, settle down, everyone. The final vote count is as follows. Otto Soft, nine votes. Martin Emerson, eight votes. And two write-in votes for Lena Dahl Johnson. What? Lena? 
What is he talking about? I, I have no idea. I didn't ask anyone to vote for me. Well, I, I did prepare a speech in the hopes that common sense would prevail. As my first he cheated! As your newly re-elected mayor, no. I would like to announce the new members of the friendly Fairhaven Neighborhood Watch, Natalia and Thomas. Wrong. Lena. Not here, Tara. The, the mayor did it! Why did... Hey, tee up. What? Hello. That's not how we... <laughs> Wait, so you're saying that they they knew damn well that Lena had two votes and they didn't say, OK, we're going to void those two vo votes and maybe recast one vote from her right then and there. Why didn't we do that? What what just happened? I call BS. What the heck? Marty, are you all right, buddy? I can't believe it. If the two people who voted for Lena had voted for me, oh, I see. I would be mayor. I mean, no offense to Lena, but she doesn't seem like she wants to be in control of anything except her store. I see. Time out. I understand. I understand. Two people voted for Lena. So those two votes could have gone in Marty's way or Otto's way. Got it. I thought they made. I thought they said she put in two votes. I was gonna say that makes no sense. I get it now. All right, so we'll get, we have a conversation to be had here tonight at the coven. Our vote did matter. Yes, no, our vote did matter. Except two people voted for Lena instead of Marty. Now wait a sec. You should be open. Are you closed because it's election day? Are we closed on election day? All right, very well. What do you have to say about this, you freaking nose? Oof, you look exhausted. Still coming down from your election nerves? It's not that. We've already established a schedule for the friendly Fairhaven Neighborhood Watch, and as mayor, I took the first shift last night. But staying awake that long is hard. I had so much coffee beforehand, but Thomas still caught me <clears throat> resting my eyes. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I don't know. In real life, you can actually vote for yourself, correct? Yeah, you can, right? Unbelievable. Even after that bizarre performance at the debate, Angus still wants to be part of the league. Imagine watching that guy and being like, yep, that's my leader. <laughs> hey, Lalu, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Oh, look at all these people coming out. Yeah, I think in real life, you can vote for yourself. The only happy person here strutting is Giva. <laughs> Giva, what do you think about what you just saw? Parker has something to say. I was quite serious about a curfew. I think so. I don't really know. I'm not one to be out at the pub until all hours, but I sometimes go around collecting my rain gauges in the evenings. I don't want anyone to think I'm doing anything dodgy. Right, all right. Uh, Parker, hang on a sec. Where did Parker go? Did he already go back? Parker, Parker, Parker. Uh, he might have went back to his shop. Let me go back to Parker real quick. Hey, Kiki Light. How you doing? How's it going? Oh, Parker's not back at his shop. We fails in our uprise in voting out auto. I know, right? <laughs> Should have saw that one coming, right? There we go. Natalia. Natalia. Um... Yeah, we need to talk. I need to get some iron from you. I'll just make it all. Now we definitely need uh, Parker to, to build our barn. Oh, this is warm in the cockles of my heart. I beg your pardon? so pleased that Otto picked me for the friendly Fairhaven neighborhood watch. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really pleased for you too, Natalia. The stream because I missed it to uh, all the talk about coffee and espresso earlier made me want to get some. <laughs> Thank you. I'm actually starting to feel better. Lalu says I'm actually starting to feel better as uh, as are my mom and brother. So I'm happy. I'm smiling and happy today. Oh, that's very good. 
Love to hear that. That's very good. Very, very good. That's great news, Lalu. Sebastian's kept old voicemails from my mom for years. I catch him listening to them sometimes. I always thought he was just making it harder for himself, you know? To let mom go. But now I get it. I can't wait to go back into the gloaming. I'm going to track down every single Echo Blossom there is. Very well. Okay, so we have this done. Good. Uh, we need to meet up with Lena tonight, or the High Priestess tonight, and be like, what the heck just happened? I feel like she's going to, like, put on a heist or something. Marty, you failed. <laughs> you done You done did it, Marty. You done did it. Oh, how dare you. <laughs> How, how could you? Should have been out there more. Should have been out there doing your thing. I don't know who would vote for. I don't know who the two people would vote for, though. That's what it kind of can, like, the two vote for Lena. It does kind of confuse me a little bit. I don't know who would do that. Uh, Amir, well, I'll talk to you since I'm here. Just don't know. I heard about Emmy's new, uh, interest in music. She's a handful, isn't she? <laughs> yes, but in the best way. If I ever have daughters, I hope they're as spirited as she is. Less prone to thievery, though. I do have a question. Um, I wonder if the kids were, were allowed to vote, you know? Since the game really put them into a, in a situation where they're like, you know what, the kids, uh, kids should have opinion were the kids allowed to vote during that time i am not sure there's parker right there oh you're the man i'm looking for my good man hello ah i have that for you you look like you're in a good mood i am angus is getting married soon and he's one of my best buddies i'm so happy for him and francis oh that's sweet i love a wholesome romance i want to get angus the best wedding present not the most expensive but the most meaningful you know here's my plan Take a photo of them, blow it up, and print it on silk. Then mm. I'll frame it with dried turtle head flowers. Francis likes to give Angus big bouquets of turtle heads. Hey, what if I pay you for some turtle heads and silk? How could I turn down such a cute request? I knew you'd understand. Thanks, Tara. So silk and uh, turtle heads. Parker has asked for that. Good. I knew it, dude. The wedding's not far off. Think you'll be able to get some silk and turtle heads? I got it right now. There you go. This is exactly what I needed. Thanks so much. Perfect. Lena says I like craft projects more than a sorority girl, but <laughs> what can I say? I enjoy making things for people I care about. Oh, you mean more. Okay. Never change. <laughs> Thanks again for helping me out. I couldn't do it without you. Here. I took that like in a different sense there. He said he said that in a weird way. He said that I like craft stuff more than a sorority girl. I, I instantly I was thinking, do you like a sorority girl? better than than crafting or do you like you know <laughs> uh, no it means uh he likes crafting more than a sorority girl girl likes crafting i guess right <laughs> whoops hello speedy speedy says i watch a lot of your videos and i have to say you sound like the actor that plays beetlejuice i'll be real with you speedy i have no idea what that person sounds like I think what is Beetlejuice from? Is that from Adam's family? Is that the Adam's family? Yeah. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. I voted for Otto on my playthrough, and there was only one right in vote for Lena. So since you didn't, there were two votes for Lena, which makes Otto win every time. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Very, very interesting. So then there's one person who does it. Who is it? Beetlejuice is from Beetlejuice? <laughs> so there you go. I have no idea who the hell Beetlejuice is. <laughs> have a good one, Natalie. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I appreciate it. Michael Keaton. That sounds familiar. Michael Keaton sounds familiar. Does he play in anything else? In any other movies or shows or anything like that? Is he something else in, in, in another show? <laughs> Beetlejuice is from Beetlejuice, ya, ya, ya idiot.
Oh yeah, fishing in cat form. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. I should probably try that out. People said it's a lot easier. Batman? Michael Keaton is Batman? Is that what you're telling me? So you're telling me I'm sound like Beetlejuice and Batman? I say drop the Batman and I guess I, I might have to look up like Beetlejuice or something after this stream and be like, what the heck is this all about? I need to see Beetlejuice. I don't even know what the hell Beetlejuice is about. What is it? It's a Halloween movie, right? It's a ha Halloween movie, yeah? Is there anything else Michael Keaton is in? Anything that that I would become more familiar with? I, I'll be honest with you. have not seen a Michael uh, Keaton Batman. Yeah, the OG movie Batman. Have, definitely have not seen that. <laughs> Spider-Man Homecoming. Okay, I have seen that. What is he in Spider-Man Homecoming? Hey, Pat. How you doing? He's the villain in Spider-Man Homecoming? It's an awesome movie. You need to see it. Beetlejuice in regards. By the way, hello, Jules. How you doing? Beetlejuice is a ghost with green hair and striped suits. I knew about the striped suit. I think that's very iconic, right? Is he really a ghost, though? I had no idea he was a ghost. I hurt your head? <laughs> I, I'm just not a big Halloween fan, is all. I don't watch a lot of Halloween movies or anything like that. And that's a Halloween movie, correct? Ghost, I think. Right? Beetlejuice was a movie made in, the, in 1988. He says, hey, and what a lot? The way you say it, it sounds the same. Really? Is that right? Now I definitely got to see this. I got to see this Michael Keaton, Mr. Uh, Mr. Freaking Beetlejuice. Now I definitely got to see it. Oh, it's not really a Halloween movie? It's a comedy? Oh, well, then in that case, a halibut. Nice. We haven't not gotten a halibut before. People watch Beetlejuice during Halloween, just like people watch Die Hard during Christmas. Hey, <laughs> all right. So, what is the, what is the consensus here? What do we? How do we determine this? You ready? Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Is that a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie? Don't say both. If you had to choose one, which one would you choose? Beetlejuice isn't scary. It's one of the f only f only favorite movies Michael Keaton did. Ah. Is Academy Award Best Actor Birdman. Wait, so hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Where can I watch Beetlejuice? Is that on some any streaming device, any streaming services right now? Is there any way or anywhere I can watch Beetlejuice? Is it on Prime, Prime Video? Is it on Netflix? Is it on Hulu? How do I access this Beetlejuice? Anybody remember the um, the things you get at the gas station? I don't know if they're like still a thing anymore. Does anybody ever remember as a kid like getting the bug juice? That Those little freaking things with the squirt thing, you know? The bug juice drinks in the gas station. Did anybody ever get those? That's what that reminds me of. Beetlejuice is a Halloween comedy movie. Michael Keaton is in a movie called The Dream Team. There's themes that fit Halloween because they are talking about characters who died. You must be rubbing off on me. Because I just checked your membership page. Wait, what? My membership page? <laughs> what? <laughs> Am I ready for bed? Did they ever make like a, um, a remake of Beetlejuice? Nightmare Before Christmas is a movie, period. Not a Halloween or Christmas movie. How dare you? 
That's basically saying both in a different terminology. Best Halloween movie is Corpse's Bride or Caroline. You know how a lot of people say horror movies? Hey, Hang on. Angus, what's going down? My wedding cake is what? Hey! Uh, so my fridge in the bakery is full of tiny individual tarts for a fundraiser Mrs. Soft is hosting for Mayor Soft. And if I put the cake in our fridge at home, Francis will see it. I know Hazel baked a lot. You must have a good sized fridge. <laughs> Can I borrow some space? Pretty please? Of course. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll just pop it in. He owns a bakery shop and he owns a house and he needs my house. Sir, it's a cake. What the heck is this all about? Angus has asked you to store a wedding cake in your fridge until his is clear. Doesn't he have a house too? Very well. They did a musical for it? Cake it or break it. Angus has asked you to store a wedding cake in your fridge until it's clear. But to do anything with it or no? Probably not. There's never been a remake for it. Peacock. Peacock has Beetlejuice. I have Peacock. I probably just shattered everybody's heart for not knowing Beetlejuice. <laughs> if they do a remake of Beetlejuice, I'll freak. They need to start making their own movies and stop ruining ours. I, I agree. They Hollywood right now is just in a full remake, remastered, this and that. Same with video games. They're all in this whole remaster, remake stuff. Today's Sunday, so that means uh, Parker is not going to be uh, available for us. But we do have mulberries, so that's good. Here we don't do trick-or-treat, and it bothers me so much. We just dress up and go to discos. You know what? That sounds even better. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Trick-or-treating, like... It's a weird, weird thing, isn't it not? It's the only time that we can actually not be antisocial and expect people to give us free stuff. Like, please give me... I'm going to go to your house, even though I've never talked to you as a neighbor. I'm going to go to your house, and you're going to give me free edible foods. Whether it be candy, toothpaste, oranges, or raisins. And I'm not even, like messing around i've had someone give me toothpaste i think that's a that was a joke that i didn't understand as a child i've had people give me oranges i had people give me raisins here you are wesley enough mulberries for an entire pie uh, no what i'm making is much more interesting and what you're making is oh fine okay okay <laughs> I've been researching ways to lessen the effects of lycanthropy. That is, being a werewolf. I would prefer to be a little less uh, werewolf-ish. Oh, no. You have such lovely fur. That's kind of you. However, being a were creature comes with plenty of downsides. One of the texts I read suggested that an incantation made with ink of the mulberry might help. I hope you get what you want. <sighs> Me too. Here, take this. Fair is fair. Thank you. I think that's what happened. I think what happened is my mom showed me weird science and she didn't show me Beetlejuice. And then when I asked for another movie, she gave me Ferris Bueller's Day Off and then she never showed me Beetlejuice. I think that's what happened. That's that's what happened. <laughs> I heard about the wedding. Good for Francis. He's a delight. If I have a spare hour, I like asking him about the pieces he's working on. He loves old things, old stories, same as me. And then when I asked for another movie, she gave me Beverly Hills Cop. And just skipped over Beetlejuice. <laughs> you won't shatter my heart too because I don't know what Beetlejuice is. A 
It was you I saw by Thomas's farm, wasn't it? It sure was. And I really wish we could have chatted. But we're not supposed to show ourselves to new witches until the time is right. Lena says you're a talented witch. I'm raring to start on your broom. So you're the one who makes everyone's brooms? Oh, I don't make. I bond and balance them. Brooms are bonded to the witch, and they're often passed down family lines. You'll be using Hazel's old broom, but we gotta make sure it's balanced for you. <laughs> don't, don't want you sliding off the back in midair, whoa! No, we certainly don't want that. But using my grandma's broom... Great idea, disrespect. Well, I'm sure she would want us to use the broom. I think it's a really nice idea. Me too. I've got my Da Spanner, which belonged to his mob before him. You've already got the broom, but uh, I'll also need essence of silver and some levitation potion. Just we can do that. Don't get that silver out round Wesley. It, it, it would be rude, you know. I have a lot to <laughs> learn about you all. I hope I don't embarrass myself. Oh no, you'll do fine. Essence of silver. We have the levitation and the broom, so that's pretty easy to do. Uh, what game would I like to see remastered? If I could choose one game, only one game to see remastered, it would probably have to be Fallout New Vegas. That would be the one game I would want to see remastered. I'm not even a movie person, but I've watched uh, Beetlejuice. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> Kids don't take uh, strangers' candies unless it's Halloween. Yeah, never understood that one. <laughs> Like, if you had a child and you guys went to, like, like, it's the day before Halloween and, like, your child said, hey, can I take a candy from a stranger? You'd be like, no, that that's inappropriate. Don't do that. Don't ever do that. And then the next day you're like, yeah, it's fine. It's Halloween. People that give toothpaste or toothpaste, toothpaste or toothbrushes deserve to get their house TP'd. <laughs> did they ever show you the Breakfast Club? They did. Yeah, I, I I seen the Breakfast Club. I mean, weekend at Bernie's. Come on now, let's go. As well, like, very very well rounded there. Weird Science is one of my favorite movies. We were talking about Weird Science earlier today. That's why I kind of brought it up. It's, it, Weird Science, I like that movie. I do. It just has a lot of edgy things about it nowadays, looking back at it, that I'm like, whoa. You know? Whoa. <laughs> Did I put that silver in? I can't remember if I put the silver in for the essence. Let me go back and see. Did I put the silver in? I did, right? Yeah, okay, good. Sorry about that. I didn't watch it until I was an older teen, though. Uh, when I could watch TV at my friends' houses, we still weren't allowed to watch TV at home. I had my own child before I had my own TV. Uh. You think of, like, you know how you, like, there, there, there was always that friend, right, growing up where, like, they were not allowed to do this or that at their house. But either you went over to their house or they went over to your house so that they could break those house rules that they have, you know, back at home. Like, oh my god, I am not allowed to see a PG-13 movie at home. But, I can if I go over to Caleb's house. <laughs> Francis and Angus can't get married soon enough, for the sake of Francis's health. I adore that man, and I don't want to treat him for heart palpitations. Yeah, definitely a Fallout New Vegas to be remastered. That would be amazing. You know what? Actually, thinking about that, Danielle actually had a co-worker recently that she was 19 years old. And, right, talk about shelter here, ready? It, in this day and age, we're talking like this day and age, like a couple of months ago, she had a co-worker. She was 19 years old. Well, she was. I mean, she is, I guess. She's 19 years old. She lives with her parents. She does not, they do not have a TV, so they don't have, like, TV shows, movies, like, streaming, right? They have no TV, and she's never allowed to have a, a cell phone. So, her entire life, up until 19 years old and having a job, 
she still has never had a cell phone because she was never allowed to have a cell phone from her parents. Now, I don't know what you think about that, but... Angus and Francis are so cute together, right? Makes you feel wistful, doesn't it? Because you were engaged. Oh, uh, wow. So you just went and asked me that straight out with no warning, huh? And yes, it does make me feel wistful, like you said. That ache you feel. When you lose out on love, let you know you're still human. I should know. Don't fret about it. You'll wed soon enough, if that's what you want. Now, the problem is with the whole not having a cell phone at the age of 19. This is what happened. Not even I'm not even joking. This is actually what happened. So she walks to work, too. She doesn't have a car. She walks to work. She doesn't have a cell phone. She doesn't have a pager. Right. Um, and so she got she got sick one of one of her days at work and she went to work and they sent her home and she walked home when being sick right i'm gonna wait for the coven to get here she walked home from being sick and nobody could get in contact with her so they almost had to like file a report that she was missing because she went to she went to she went home she has no cell phone she has no phone her parents called the work that she was at her her job and asked to speak with you know i'm not gonna say her name but asked to speak with her and they said oh she went home and the parents were out of town at the time and they had no way to contact uh this girl and so she went home that evening Everybody just thought, okay, you know, whatever. She didn't show up to work the next morning. And there's no way to contact her. So, like, everybody was kind of panicking. Like, uh, is there something wrong? Is she okay? Her parents aren't in town. She's by herself. She has no car. She has no phone. You know? She doesn't know what the heck Netflix or Hulu is. Like, Danielle would be talking to her about movies and shows. And she'd be like, I can tell you about this awesome book I read. <laughs> I would like to remaster a game called my life <laughs> there's something that I would like to do different if I can uh, I guess like, what remaster your life or maybe like I don't know would you update the graphics <laughs> welcome all <sighs> Ugh. Maintaining the glamour over the stone circle and balancing the wellspring is wearing us too thin. Yeah, managing this and the bar? I feel like a sloth. You already were one. I think I know a way to relieve ourselves of this burden. I have some anemone seeds I never planted. What if one of us plants them in the gloaming? Ah, you want to harvest them once they've soaked up magic from the wellspring? Why can't I just plant them on my farm? That's not as dangerous. Because the soil on your farm isn't soaked in wellspring magic. Anemones are powerful magical plants that only thrive in places close to the wellspring. We could use the flowers to keep the glamour going without as much work. Exactly. Let me be the one to go back. If there are more Echo Blossoms out there, I'm gonna find them all. But you can't go alone. So I'll go with her. You sure you want to? How else will I keep my adrenaline pumping? Besides, I promised Grandma that I'd be there for you. Ordinarily, I wouldn't let the two least experienced coven members go into the gloaming unaccompanied. But we're overwhelmed as it is, so... <laughs> if you let yourselves get hurt in there without me, I'll never forgive you. Chill. We got this. We got this, girl. Last time, I noticed some spinner web had crossed one of our paths. Oh, yeah. The webs are incredibly tough. But dissolve in the light of spirit flame. This lantern will channel the spirit flame to destroy the ah. web. And stop you from accidentally burning your eyebrows off. I'm not sure how many such webs will be in your way. So you may need more spirit flame to get through. You'll need to get past them. As I'm certain there are spots where the anemone will thrive in that direction. Oh, let me work the portal this time. <laughs> Sarah, let me know when you're ready to go. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go right now. 
Uh, Netflix, the the one of the first uh, videos they shipped out was Beetlejuice. I remember getting Netflix in the mail. That was uh, that was actually kind of fun though. It reminds me of GameFly. Did anybody play game or do GameFly back in the day? Like you know that was like the Netflix of video games. Did anybody do that? GameFly. That was actually kind of cool. Like you would get super. Um, uh, yep, you would get super excited when you rented a game and it came to your doorstep or it came in your mailbox you're like oh yeah here we are you know anemone seeds it takes five days for these seeds to grow into anemones anemones hopefully i'm not even saying that right am i uh, planted in the gloaming become imbued with magic from the wellspring There we go. So do I have to come here every evening and re like water these for five days? Yeah, definitely is gonna make her vulnerable when she does. Um... Ugh, it looks like I'm all out of juice. I'll need to brew more spirit flame to get through here. Definitely makes you more prone when you do get a uh, when you do end up getting a, a, a cell phone, right? Exactly. What the heck was that? Whoa! Did you see that? That terrifying streaky ghost thing? Yeah, hard not to. We better get back to the coven. That thing was headed straight for the portal to the stone circle. Uh oh. Woo! That all turned out fine. <laughs> what? I take it back. Holy moly. What happened here? That wraith came straight out of the stone circle. We were so worried about you two. It's all good, Lena. Nothing happened to us. Is this our fault? That spirit got through because it's been harder and harder to balance the wellspring. Not your doing, so don't worry yourself about it. During summer, Perry mentioned that she was concerned about the wraiths. Well, as well she should be. They're dangerous spirits born of the places where the wellspring's magic has been sucked dry. Some of those djinn have been trapped inside the gloaming for centuries. This one got past us because it's darker than most and more powerful. We must find and bind that genie again. Can I help? We must wait for it to reveal itself. In the meantime, be careful getting home tonight. Wow. So give the flowers to the herbalist so that she can make glamour boosting potions. Wait for the wraith to reveal itself. Wow, there's a lot of things going on here. Interesting. Wait for the wraith to reveal itself. Swept off the fleet, glam more. And then we have like this wedding going on too and, and all that. My lord, there's so much happening right now. I did Gamefly and Netflix back in the day. Yeah, Gamefly was fun. It took a while for the games to arrive, but it was super fun though. I played some games that I would never have played but back then. But then at the same time, I could have just went to Blockbuster and just rented a game. That's how I played uh, Fallout 3 for the first time. I went to Blockbuster and rented Fallout 3. That's how I like found the Fallout series. Like That discoverability, that effort, that's what's fun. Gamefly wasn't too bad too, though. It was pretty good. It was pretty, pretty good. I got a pager at 19, uh, so I could contact my son's father to let him know when I was going into labor slash the hospital. Um, I was one hour from the hospital and he was two hours away. Then he didn't respond. Needless to say, our ma marriage didn't make 10 years, but our son is fantastic. Oh, very good. Very good, at least. Very, very good. Clownfish would like to live at an anemone. Do clownfish survive on land? I know, the anemone. That reminds me of Nemo, does it? <laughs> there we go. All right, so we have the essence of silver now. So we could do the uh, broom. I do not think it's... I think it's a little bit too late. Yeah, a little bit too late to do that. But with, regardless, uh, let's go, to go to sleep. For bed? We are. Yes, we are. And that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, will be... I know, leave it on a cliffhanger. There's so much happening in the game right now. 
and we're about to get into a very pivotal point but i think that's going to be a great time for us to stop it right there for today um thank you all for hanging out with me today i appreciate it we had a long stream for the wildflowers expect this game in the next maybe tomorrow or or the next day uh we are going to be picking this back up fairly uh fairly soon uh so that we can continue and get through this game before um before coral island comes out next week so do expect this game possibly again tomorrow or you know whatever it is so just know that I would like to get through this game as quick as I can before Coral Island so that when Coral Island comes out, we can bust into that and uh, take a take a take a good hit on that. Right. Yeah, absolutely. I want to say a special thank you to Linda for a membership today. Thank you for becoming a member of the channel. Really do appreciate that. Leslie. Thank you, Leslie, for the super chat. Gaming Nana. Thank you so much for the super chat as well. And German Road Crew. Thank you for the tip today as well. If you would like uh, more content by me, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We have it over 1,800 videos here on the channel, so there's bound to be something that you might like. Also, uh, you can follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, follow me on TikTok, uh, help support. And another way, if you would like, on Patreon also, you can visit shopcans.com to get your Halloween theme merchandise. Other than that, it's been a pleasure and honor being with you today. Any of your time spent with me is always your valuable time, and I appreciate you spending your valuable time with me. I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. It's been real and awesome. Thank you for a great day, and uh, we'll speak soon, okay? Do take care.